<laughs> hey, besties. <clears throat> Hi, besties. Welcome in. We're here. We're live. We're doing the dang thing of simming. Because I'm a simmer. I'm ready to band. I'm ready. Hey, Daft Daft, welcome in. How are you doing today, Cimarella? Hello. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going. Welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> welcome in. Oh. Why? What? Okay. You know what? No, no, no. We're not doing that today. Oh, wait, I thought I had that one disabled. You know what? I don't care anymore at this point. I don't care. I don't understand. The bot's gone rogue. The bot has literally done the uttermost today. Oh, I feel good today, honestly. I feel really happy because today is Wednesday. I feel like I'm so late to stream because normally I stream like two hours before <laughs> I turned it off. I am like, it was turned off so long ago. Why is it here now? Go away. Hey, Hobie, welcome in. You think your internet's working now? Very good. Very good. I see all the swords in chats. Ban all the trolls. I banned a person last night. I was really happy. This was off stream, by the way. You know, still felt proud of myself. Hee <laughs> hee. The winds of the days. Exactly. I say that all the time. It's the winds of the days of the week of the hour. <laughs> but welcome in. I hope your day is going pretty well. Um, Volume Venus. Volume Venus. Welcome in. Today we're simming. We're simming with Bob Pancakes. And also we have a sponsored stream with at and in like an hour. We'll be on the front page of Twitch again <laughs> for the second time this month um, in an hour. So that should be very exciting, honestly. Hopefully less nerve wracking. <laughs> we can only hope. We can only hope. Um, but I'm glad you're all here. How was everyone's morning? Hope it was good. I was watching Simsy this morning and then I was watching Saurus. And now I kind of want to play Animal Crossing. <laughs> Imagine me playing Animal Crossing on front page. There will be there will be no work done of any kind in Animal Crossing if I streamed it on the front page. Nothing. <laughs> oh, but welcome. Now is the time for me to get food and water before chaos. Yes, I ate some. Snyder's pretzels earlier. I want to be sponsored by them so bad. And follow little Simsy. Hey, hey, how are you doing? Yeah, I was in that whole stream the entire time. I was laying in bed when I was watching Simsy this morning. I heard I heard her say Dan was being stupid. I laughed. Because he doesn't want to go to the dentist. So um <laughs> Savvy, welcome in. How are you doing? Wisteria, hello. Sarah, welcome in, besties. You've been playing Sims again. Very good. You opened up a bakery. How is that going? Is it thriving? Is it doing all the things it needs to do? I still cannot get like a five star like anything in the Sims. I guess I don't play it as much or play with like the restaurants or anything as much as I do. Um... Sin a sin. No, that's not it. Yeah, sin a sin. <laughs> Welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope your day's going pretty well. You're watching Simsy as well now building. It is evening here. Oof. It is 6 p.m. for you, I, I assume. Definitely have fun with, you know, building. I was doing Kayla's shell challenge yesterday and I was like, ooh. I nearly cried for the roofing, but you know, I got over it. It's something. <laughs> <laughs> you slept in because I wasn't feeling good. Oh, not fun. But I'm glad you're feeling better now, though. 
Expected flower, welcome in. You also got a five star restaurant. Really? How do you do it? Because I always struggle with it. I guess I never expand my restaurant to be bigger. I only allow a select few people in my restaurant. <laughs> Nat, welcome in. You're making cookies. Ooh, what kind of cookies are you making? Anything good? Anything interesting? Right scene, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, in a... Oh no, Callie Joe, welcome in. Was watching you destroy everyone in the old Among Us stream. I'm glad. We have another one this Friday, actually. Um, I'm ex I'm very excited for that. Be our third time. And also, enough said, thing for the 11th month resub. I appreciate that so, so much. Thank you, thank you. Let me get some hype and some love in the chat, please. And thank you for the new resub. I do have plans for New Year's Eve. Um, I'm streaming Among Us with Simmers plus Dan on Friday. And then after that stream, I'm going to my parents' house. Um, and that's pretty much it. Nothing like too, like too crazy that day, but you know, just chill. Chill. Some casual killing friends for games and family time. <laughs> Sounds wonderful, doesn't it? <laughs> so in that save Judas Ward married Marcus Flux and they had a kid. See, that's what I'm concerned about. Which which save is it? Oh gosh. Oh, it's a save. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it was weird. Weird. Why did Judas Ward have a sip uh, have a baby with Marcus Flux? They're both well, not really both. Marcus Flux is non-committal, but like what he doesn't need a kid. He's with this Judas Ward. They can't handle children. I'm making a, a fresh batch because I'm going to be mailing them this afternoon. Ooh, I hear mailing food is expensive. Also, we're in a different save, actually. We're in the other one where Bob and Eliza's parents are actually alive, not dead. Because in the last uh, stream that we did with the pancakes, um, it was surviving the holidays and Eliza's mom died um, after the stream. Literally, as I ended the stream, Eliza's mom died. And then um, Bob's father died on Christmas Day, which was awful. Um, so there was a lot of things going on that day. You love the dentist and I have since I was young. It's weird, I know. I mean, I feel like if you've been to the dentist all your life, I feel like you, you would like it. I like my dentists. They're pretty nice people encouraging positive that's all i can ask and so personally i like my dentist too i haven't gone in like two years because i don't have dental insurance um because it's expensive <laughs> i like where i go you know pretty chill you're super excited for the among us stream i'm excited too it starts at 3 3 p.m my time check my discord um, 3 p.m. Central Time, 4 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, 3 p.m. Central. How do they even meet? Wait, who met? Who met? Oh, Marcus Lux and Judas Ward. I have no idea, to be honest. I think it's just randomly generalized that these Sims meet each other. I blame MC Command Center, honestly, for all of my issues in this game. It does the uttermost of like, why do you do what you do? It makes no sense. And your employees always buy extra work spots. The point you get by the part. Oh, oh, where because we don't get some sweet. The the first I've gotten was like two stars. I didn't do half of that stuff. I feel like a bad employee. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh no, not great. I feel like a bad employer. I should probably work on that actually, you know, at some point. This time I will redeem myself with bought pancakes. He has his own restaurant. We started building it last stream a while back ago. So it was time. And Diwali Tan, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well and swell and it's fine. Morning or afternoon. Uh, you're gonna be using it in a flat rate box at the post office, so it takes you two days. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good then. 
hopefully you have coverage because sometimes whenever I mail stuff, it gets damaged. And I'm like, why? Why is that? And I got coverage on it, but it, just, it, it gets damaged. The box does, not the content inside of it, but like, why? Your dentist won't stab your gums with the pointy tool they use on accident or on purpose. Cause that just sounds awful. <laughs> I mean, they gotta poke the gum somehow or somehow, I don't even, I have no idea. It's just a weird thing. It's a weird thing. That's never fun. Especially when you get your braces taken off. Has Bob found his one? We're trying to. We're trying to find the one for him. Right now, we're romanticizing um, Zoe Patel from the Rumi's household. Yeah. Practice makes perfect true. True. Also, why do I feel like I'm on the wrong screen? Anyway, um, <laughs> Blackberry Bloom, thank you so much for the resub for 11 heckin' months. I appreciate that so, so much. Thank you. And also Jake from State Farm, how are you doing today? <laughs> I hope your day is going pretty well. I hope your day is uh, thriving these days. But Jake, how you been? Where have you been? How's life? How's the world? How are the things of... The UK. I'm gonna say Judas Ward and Marcus Books always seem to get together. Really? I guess when you think about it, they're kind of compatible, you know? They're very compatible people. Both non committal in their eyes and they're just equally just weird people. That makes sense. You know that in the untold stories of Eliza that said she was going to murder about Yeah, in yeah. Yeah. Like when you when you look at it. When you, if you look at the, um, whatchamacallit, the get to work trailer, you can see Eliza Pancakes going to jail. So I can kind of see that, honestly. Eliza deserves to be in jail for all that she has done in one, my life and Bob's life. A lot of emotional distress, personally. Oh, I hope you feel better. Excuse me? She broke up with you? Sometimes things happen. I don't uh, don't work out or still friends. Oh, that's good. As long as it wasn't a bad breakup, as long as you're still friends, that's that's good. But I'm sorry. It's never fun. Some things just don't always work out. You know, think people change and stuff change too. So yeah, but I'm sorry that happened. I'm sorry that happened. <laughs> I'm your Christmas present. Yeah, 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 yeah. I basically didn't get anything for Christmas because I didn't want anything. So um, my Christmas present was Jake, his return. Thank you. I've been waiting. <laughs> my my gift has have been received. It's finally here. <laughs> Pretty girl to you. Welcome in. How are you doing today, bestie? I hope your day. It's going well. For the longest time, went to the, I went to a kid's dentist because I was 5'4", so they thought I was a kid when I was 15. Changed it because I'm 5'5". Five five. So now I have an adult dentist after five years of kid dentist. Honestly, I, I, I honestly feel like kid dentists are way more happier and nicer, <laughs> in my humble opinion. I mean, no shame in that. Honestly, did you get charged less uh, at the kid's doctor or like the same now? I mean, honestly, you never know. All is well, that's good. All is good with you. All is good with me as well. I've been working on myself. I got some special phone call. I got a special phone call today. That's not happening until next year, which I'm very excited about. So... Things are changing. Things are um, happening for next year. I'm so excited. Next year is going to be the year of manifestation, doing things myself with help, trying less, and also um, pursuing my dreams of becoming a voice actor <laughs> and an actor in general. Um, so cool things are happening. It's okay. I've got you to help. Feel better in your stream. Oh, I'm glad. We're going to report the code. 
um, sir, why? No, don't, don't even try. Go take a shower, please. Yeah, that is the Jake. That is the Jake from the across the pond. The one's been gone for ages and has returned to us in the streams. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm excited. What is everybody's manifestations? What do they want to pursue and do next year? I would love to know because when you put it out into the world, it's going to happen. It may not happen now. It may not happen for a long time. But as long as you put it out there into the universe, things can happen. You can do is homework. And then I'm going to call up our grandmother because actually, Bob, when what time do you have from work? 10 p.m.? We'll invite over Eliza. No, we'll invite over our, our grandpa. We're going to invite him over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 100. I love the kid's doctor. The kid's dentist. They were so happy every time. And yes, they did have to pay less, which was great. Like $125 difference. That is a big difference. Oh, my goodness. I would love to pay that that much less in my endeavors of um, everything. Honestly, go to Disney again. It'll happen in June at some point. <laughs> if TwitchCon ever happens, we're going because I'm going to TwitchCon next year. Best believe it. It's happening. I'm back, besties. Welcome back, Hobie. To feel, uh, to find a fulfilling job. That's good. I'm manifesting that for you. Cannot be stressed over college work. <laughs> Me. I, well, I mean, I'm done with school and everything. Thank the Lord. Um, but also, I want to cry less next year. That's what I really want to do. I'm going to figure out my priorities and get myself on a cleaner path next year. That's good. Did you just walk in? I did not invite you in. Talk to him outside. And it's, uh, it's literally trash. Oh my gosh. Not fun. Not fun. I'm sorry. Love is sometimes crazy. Lame and charming or pure whore. True. That's one of the reasons why I'm single and loving it. <laughs> like one of the, uh, things in the Sims 4. Single and loving it. <laughs> anyway. I just don't want or need anyone sometimes. Yeah, I'm the same way. I don't really need anyone right now. I, it's just me, myself, and I, and I'm okay with that. Because honestly, I... I, I hope not to get sick in 2022. Savesies. I'm going to cry. <laughs> TwitchCon looks fun. I've never been to TwitchCon. I've been to VidCon before. And that's literally it, but never TwitchCon. But that's where I want to go. He applied for university last week. Ooh, ooh, I hope you get in. Now I can mod and play Animal Crossing in peace. But I want another picture because this is just so cute. This is so cute. However, his eye is in his collar and that seems concerning. Self-love and confidence. Very good. Very good. My goal for 2022 is to get out. He got promoted. Yay. Head chef. My, my goal in 2022 is to get out of retail and finally put my writing degree to actual use. Very good. We love to see it. We love to hear it. What type of like writing genre do you want to do as like a full time thing? Because for me, I always end up going with mystery, murder, or that's literally it. Mystery. That was so cute. It really was. You know, children bring the joy out in my Sims, and that makes me very happy. Really does. Wait, how do you lower the camera and take pictures? It's the WASD keys on your keyboard. I go into tab mode by pressing my tab key and then pressing. Oh, actually. It, oh, no. It's the Q and E button. <laughs> Q goes down, E goes up. Yeah, I finally got to meet Marshall the other day. Yeah. So last night after the stream, I went to Hobie's Island, by the way, and I got physical 
photo proof that that Hobie was hiding Marshall from me this whole time on their island. And I took evidence. So I know where they're at now. But yeah, the Q goes down and the E goes up. We're taking photos in the game. Oop, that is not what I wanted to do. That's my R key for reshade. There we go. And you're welcome. My goal in 2022 is just to be generally happier. Oh, wait. Oh, to be generally happier and better mental health and take care of myself. Same. Same. A friend, a friend's two cents. Wait, being around a sim that, that cared enough to give helpful advice gives Iggy abusive energy. Who? His grandpa? No, his father? Yes, his father. He gave him some friendly advice. Be better, do better, teach a valuable lesson. Trying to make sure Iggy's character values are great and thriving because if they aren't, I'm going to not be happy. You're waiting for a villager to, to do a villager hunt again and then find Marshall and not tell you. That's going to be very upsetting that day. And there's going to be a lot of banning involved. <laughs> a lot of banning involved. I want to do another villager hunt next week. That's what my plan is. I just got to, you know, throw out my schedule and things. Oh, for my actual novel writing uh, I'm a young adult slash new author, author, new adult writer for sure, but I'm hoping to get into copywriting or editing jobs. Oh, that'd be really good. A good idea. I like that. I hear copywriting's difficult, but it seems fun regardless. Depends on what you're like copywriting and editing. I see that playing Animal Crossing. Oh, Christine and Behance, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well and swell on this fine afternoon because today we are playing The Sims 4, but later in like 30 minutes from now on the front page of Twitch, <laughs> playing The Sims being sponsored by AT&T. You got Raymond. I want Raymond so bad as well. But I'm like, mm, not as much as I want Marshall and Flip. It's not too bad. Oh, good. I feel like it just depends on what you're like trying to do as a copywriter and as an editor for a book. Wait, where did you get this from? Where did you get the rubber ducky from? You know what? You know what? Put it over here. Take that over there. I'm gonna get your air buds. Listen to cottage for music. Bob. <laughs> it looks like Q-tips. Oh. Wait for instructions. I'm in charge. Oh. Uh, Elise says, thank you so much for giving a gift sub to Gamer a tag. I hope you enjoy all the emotes here in the spring squad. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Can we get some all hype and some love in the chat, please? For that prank. If it's up. Yeah, no, he can't ban me. I'm superior. Interesting. You woke up. You're on, ho Ooh, you're on holiday and played Octopath until 2 a.m. What is Octopath? You found Raymond once? Next year you want to improve your workout routine and lift uh, heavier? Oh, well, that's good. That's a good, you know, that's, that's a good that's a good thing to achieve next year. Yeah. The record that was a joke. Oh, was it? Oh, I didn't even see the whole thing. Unmod, ban, uninvited from Steve's Marshall theme party. <laughs> Uh, imagine you can't ban people in animal crossing can you unfriend people in animal crossing as your best friend is that a possibility <laughs> imagine um and also thank for the hydrate check as well you really want chef instead of uh you know i'll take her i'll take them but i don't have i don't really have space right now nor do i have anybody that I want to leave on my island. No, I actually do. I have a few people I want to leave, want to have them leave off of my island. But it's the matter of uh, having them wanting to leave, you know? But I'm excited. Second front page stream with AT&T later today. 
Our first one was like on the 3rd of December at the beginning of the month. And now we're having another one. We shouldn't have any more. Um, Cause I think they only said two sponsored streams, but I have no idea. Um, it's so much fun and beautiful. Just a second. I'll get this to in. Very good. Justice for bot pancakes only. It is 2.30. And I think it'll be appropriate to go to our business and Magnolia Promenade over, where is our business? Hold up, did we buy one? I was over here, I was like, where did our stuff go? And uh, get that system awaited. But also Zuko, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well. Oh, but she settles. Mm. Band them in Animal Crossing. But if I settle on for her when hunting, uh, oh, you settled for her when we're hunting for Shep. Oh, okay. I also really want Joey. Joey and um, Marty, is that the other one that I saw on your island, Hobie? It's like, I really want those two. I think they're really cool. They're also yellow and I want them both. <laughs> uh, also, she doesn't fit my vibes. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. Why did you put this here? Ponder. Also, Peach, welcome in. How are you doing today? Your day's going pretty well and so well on this fine, fine evening. I'm gonna open up the store. Oh, I just realized I didn't hire anybody. Oh, no, I did. I hired Marcus Flux as my host. Hold up, is this the right one? Is this the right save file? Is this the right save file? Oh, wait, no, 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 this is a... I am sorry, excuse me? Whoa, 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 whoa. He's married to Judas. I can't. He's married to Judith Ward. I feel uneasy. That's just icky. Joey is so cute. I want him so bad. His eyebrows mean everything. Uh, eight travelers, eight adventures, eight roles to play. Embark on an epic journey across the vast and wondrous world of or dress and, and discover the captivity stories for each Stories of each traveler is an RPG. Ooh. Story Rich game. Add me at Story Rich. 50% <gasps> off. Hmm. Interesting. Why is she here? You just had a neighborhood brawl and fought Eliza. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Marty is a Sereno villager. I believe in. He's really cute. He does it in all your saves. Really? They just be made. They have just made for each other, apparently. Judas Flex is flexing. That's just icky. Literally icky. Plum Fruit just followed you on Instagram. Oh, cool. Judas Ward, do you would you like to um, come here and enjoy my establishment? She hates my esta- She- I'm literally right here. Bob, what do you mean you can't leave? You're right there. He's trapped in the bathroom. No, I'm using my own save file. Actually, this is a just a randomly generated thing that happens a lot. <laughs> it says at Eliza Pancakes unblocked you and liked one of your pictures. Eliza Pancakes, you are lying. Um, but um, what is it? It's just a, a, a generic save. MC Command Center does it all the time to me. It just randomly generates Sims being married and getting pregnant, which is kind of confusing. And crazy. He's getting that money from when she dies. True, true. He's like, I'm not going out here. This is crazy. I'm gonna welcome them to the diner. Judas Ward, stop being enraged. What if she died right here and there? That would be scary, right? Did I hire a chef? You're a waiter. Where is my, my chef is right here. You're, why are you standing outside? I'm gonna talk to you. 
do your job, pay for training. I'm going to check up on. Yeah. <laughs> I think Judas is icky. She's really icky. I don't like Judas Ward at all. He's kind of um, rude to all of my Sims. I'm motivated by my desire to stay employed. Okay, that's that's nice. We're going to um. No, we're going to say normally. I'm going to pay for your training as well. There you go. Perfect. MCC is so good. I love MC Command Center. Whee! Whee! It's like my favorite thing in the world. Best mod to exist, especially UI cheats. And also, Crystal, welcome in. How are you doing? Accidentally poisons him. Mm-hmm. Too much. Are you going to sit down? Judas Ward, calm down. Gotta greet these people. If I'm gonna have a good, successful business, I want to make sure all of my customers are doing great. Did you just see the guy running? Yes. This was the guy right here. He was running outside in a thunderstorm, of all things. Because he was scared. Also, when did Bob get electrocuted by lightning? He got struck by lightning. I didn't see this. <sighs> I'm doing great, Crystal, by the way. Um, we're just chilling out, hanging out, having fun. We're playing with Bob Pancakes, who got struck by lightning just recently. So that's fun. And he got electrocuted. Wait... He got struck by lightning twice. It doesn't happen that often. How did you get him out of the bathroom? I just teleported him out. I did a like shift click somewhere and then I said teleport. But I have testing cheats on in my game. Sir, go inside. Are you telling me he has powers now? Are you kidding me? He has powers? How do I use them? How do I use my powers? I want to use my powers like Thor. Electric man. <laughs> How do I use them again? Oh, bring the lightning. Ooh, can I struck? Is Eliza here? Can I? S like Eliza, where are you? I'm at a certain lot. No, 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 not this way. MCC, do it this way. Um, some commands, teleport command. No. Maintain sim. Where is it at? I want to summon Eliza Pancakes without calling her. Where is it at? Some cheat here it is. You've never seen this? I've never, like, I've seen it before, but I've never gotten that option. I never knew how to do it. <laughs> What the heck? I've been, I've never seen that before. Yeah, it happens. If you get struck by lightning twice, you get powers. Eliza, how long do we have? How long do we have? We have 12 hours left before it goes away. If Eliza ever wants to show up, that will be great. Here she is. Can I struck her with lightning? Is it an option? Is it an option I can do that? Can I struck her with lightning? I can't. Actions? Wait, mean. I cannot. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna bring lightning here. Wait, no, 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 no. Hold up. Sorry. Can you get a ghost pregnant? I don't think you can. I don't think it's possible. Bob? Bob? <laughs> Well, well, actually, if they live in your household, maybe you probably could, but I'm not, I haven't tested that theory out. Oh no, I walked away. <laughs> For a few of them, did Bob get struck by lightning? Twice. Twice, Peach. Twice. I'm going to take a picture of this because I think it's funny. Look at that. That's a nice photo, isn't it? Marcus Flux in, in the background. Uh, Pancakes being Thor for a hot minute trying to... Uh, <laughs> um, we can't technically electrocute Eliza, which is very sad. 
we cannot so instead of electrocuting her i literally i clicked the floor like right here by our feet to bring the lightning i'm gonna see if it works Ooh. we can say she get up she got electrocuted right <laughs> if i saw bob like that i would run away oh same i would literally run away i'm like this is not happening Ooh. I've never captured lightning like this before. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, it looks good at story. You know, true, true, true. I agree. I want a picture first before I actually press play. This is bright. <laughs> you got two NPCs pregnant and then my sim died. What? How? How did they die? Well, nothing happened. I can still bring the lightning for the next 12 hours or 11 hours, I guess. Uh, oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> Anywho, if Eliza wants to be rude, so I don't care. Eliza's just being rude for no reason. I don't like her. A lock door is everyone but employees. Old age. Oh, okay. That makes more sense then. Having Sims die from old age is so scary because I never want them to like die or get hurt. Like if I love the Sims really, really much, I wouldn't want them to die. Go away. No. Okay, are you kidding me? So I can't electrocute her, but then she gets electrocuted herself? The game doesn't like like me up it doesn't want me to thrive i can't handle <laughs> okay why is this kind of funny her eyes are closed and smiling that makes me laugh a little bit um so today's stream is all about um not actually playing the game just we're taking photos of random moments yeah seems normal <laughs> Oh, and she comes in here and clean. Ma'am, you don't own the place. If you're going to stay here, order something. I can't wait to see what the kids look like. I'm excited to see. I would love to see them. Post it in Discord if you would like to share them. This is just crazy. I literally cannot believe this. What is going on? I don't understand. Somebody send help. Somebody call SPS Sims Protection Services because this is absolutely insane. It's about a battle. <laughs> Thor say it really is. I'd be very, I'd be very, it'd be very funny if Eliza walked out and got electrocuted again. What if I asked her to leave? Go away. Eliza, go away. Oh, but it's not rain. Oh, it's still raining, but it won't have a thunderstorm. What if she died? <laughs> oh, anyway, that'd be very funny though. Abu Kitty, welcome in. How are you doing today? And also you for the resub. I really appreciate it so, so much. Thank you, thank you. Welcome in. Give me some hype and some love in the chat, please. Thank you. Also, why is Carla Bajornson pregnant? By who? Who's the father? Who's the father? Okay, Bajorn the Bornshin. Bajorn Bajornson. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, welcome in. Um, I will post them in this word if I can. Awesome, awesome. Can't wait to see. The universe was like, nah, you're you're right. She needs to be election she needs electrocution. Yeah. Basically. It was like, I'll do you a favor. I'll do you this one solid. It's like, okay, thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> Oh, that'd be so funny. He likes fitness. Oh, that's what I wanted. But hey, friend, you're planning on getting rid of Raymond anyways. Uh, Got to put him on Nikazan when he moves out. Very good. I think it was like, I never really know what to put on Nikazan, to be honest, half the time. Because personally, I don't really have anything to trade or sell as of right now. 
But eventually I will at some point. I want to give them free dessert. Yes. Have been making making those bells, you know? Riches and Jeff Bezos. Yes. I mean, honestly, Jeff Bezos is the third richest man in the world. Or a third richest person in the world, to be exact. He's no longer number one. Elon Musk is number one. Get those bells. Bells, 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 bells. I have 26 million bells in Animal Crossing, by the way. Very rich. What? What is this? I can't have this on the front page today. No, no, no. Ma'am, go away. You know what? You gotta leave. Bye-bye. I will not allow this. Also, what is the dress code in my restaurant? What is the dress code in my restaurant, by the way? Oh, I don't have a dress code. It's everyday wear. We're going to have it to be, you know, formal wear. Everyone must be fancy. <laughs> Bob needs a shower. He's just so smelly. He can... Oh, we can't shower in the rain. Your Sims cannot take off their clothes in front of, ch in front of a child. That is correct. <laughs> that is absolutely correct. So we're going to leave. Bob needs to take a shower. He's very smelly. He needs to leave. He needs to get out. I think I should also invite over since today is our first day of opening up our very first restaurant, by the way. We got one and a half stars. I think we should really pursue Zoe Patel a little bit more in our relationship and he's magically clean what okay well that's nice well we're we're gonna invite over Zoe Patel either way <laughs> he's magically clean apparently love that for us <laughs> Miv Yard Miv hi is that Miv is that Miv in my chat the famous Miv the talented artist streamer in my chat. Can everybody say hey to Miv? Can everybody say hello to Miv? Miv Yard in my chat. She's here. She's thriving. He's still thinking. That's true. He is. He is stinky boy. He's stinky. He be smelly. Hi Miv. Hi Miv. Hi. 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 I'm your biggest fan. By the way, I want to show you all something. Mivs drew me the other day. Look at this. Oop, that's wrong. That's the wrong one. <laughs> wrong monitor. Hee hee hoo hoo. Look. Miv drew me. She must love the color yellow. I think this looks pretty fantastic, by the way. Miv. You're so talented. I'm gonna frame it. Who was that lady saying in the hallway? That's Bob's future um girlfriend. Zoe Battelle. Wait. The what? What the what? Um <laughs> I tried. It looks so good. I can't wait to see what you do next. Passed it out like a sim who just saw a celebrity. <laughs> Mood. I shower him if I was, if I was him, honestly. Bob looks so happy now. Now that Eliza is no longer in his life, he feels happy. For once, he needs to make some friends. But Miv, I hope you're doing great today. Why is the toilet look so pink? Has someone pranked it? Interesting idea, Bob. I've been pondering what would give the most satisfaction in my work life. I'll let you know what it decides soon. Well, Zoe Patel, nice to know. Would you like a mistletoe kiss in the summertime? On a Wednesday afternoon? <laughs> Actively cries. Cry, cry, cry. Um, Zoe just be hanging out you know i did invite her over but she'd be like hanging out here making a bunch of these things she made de-stress oh no that was our father allison humphrey 
Allison Humphrey, Allison Humphrey, Lou Patel. All the people who come to my house are making distressing bottles. Why? I look like a, a Disney prince. You know, I do be a Disney fan. I am a Disney kid. So, prince? What pack is that soup from? I believe it's from Outdoor Treat. The, uh, that game pack. The, does Bob still have the gloomy trait or is he really happy now? He's, he's like happy now, but he still has the gloomy trait. I'm going to change that out as soon as, uh, we become Zoe Patel's like, you know, boyfriend and everything. Oh, oh, I forgot. Wait, this is the save file that I messed up on this one because I had, I broke up the land grab relationship. So they are divorced. Jeffrey and Nancy are divorced. Nancy's pregnant, but we just don't know by who. And then I invited over Nancy and everyone to our house for a birthday party for Iggy Pancakes. And I asked Nancy to hook up with Bella and they did. And then I got called next day that both of them were pregnant. And I'm like, okay, what is this? But you know, Bella Goss got pregnant by Mortimer because I asked her a week before to expand her family. She said, yes. A historical left is a gift, totally joking, but Mortimer and I just brought home a baby. I want to go. Bring Zoe Patel. Okay. Zoe Patel ruined my sin's relationship. Please started with my sim boyfriend. What? That's rude. A homewrecker? I might need to rethink my options. <laughs> Do I go with Judas Ward? No, that will be awful. Okay, besties. We got 10 minutes left until we appear on the front page of Twitch. Get excited. Where is the baby? What? Where? Where? Y'all said you had a baby. Where's the baby? Outside? Baby Joy from someone know someone you know having a baby. Where's the baby? Okay, I was like, you can have him now. <laughs> you can have him now. I don't want him. He's trash. Where is the baby? like playing where's waldo but where's the baby the baby crib to be exact where they lied to me there's no baby if you have a pregnant npc on your lot long enough they will have their baby oh okay oh good you'll have they will have their baby on the lot perfect I guess I'll have to wait and see. We'll be here for a minute then. Oh, Bob's playing violin. Oh, how nice. That's nice. And thank you. Cause I didn't, I didn't, I, I never knew how this actually worked to be honest with um the NPCs with the story, uh, neighborhood stories. Good to know. Okay. Where am I looking for? That. Ah, here it is. Quick. A lot going on here. Jeez Louise. Okay. Whew. Oh, you're asking question. Oh, I have no idea then. I don't know. If you stay on the lot long enough, will it happen? Does anyone know? Because I have no idea. Is it a glitch th that happened in the game? In a... A-L-M... Wait, A-L-M-X? Well, A-L-M... A-L-M... And Sims, welcome in. How are you doing? You're playing The Sims 2? And I just got a new PC this Christmas. Ooh, that's so exciting. How are you liking it so far? Hopefully it's going great for you. I want to see if she's still pregnant. If she's in her first trimester. Bella, where did she? Oh, she's right here. It looks like they have only two certain kids. She's not pregnant. 
I personally have never seen this. I have no idea if it works or not. I would assume that it worked, but then again, I think it's a glitch. If not, I'm going to put, make her pregnant then. One baby. And more goth. Be good. <laughs> uh, Lethal Lynn, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well and swell and it's fine. Evening. Well, welcome in. How are you doing today? And thank you for the two month resub as well. I appreciate it. Um, I personally have never seen it. Well, if you hang out long enough for the game, we'll say the baby is hungry. And then the baby, they put baby objects in the strangest places, like outside in the snow. It's the most weirdest thing ever. Literally the most weirdest thing ever. And I don't know why. Oh, let's children. I don't even know where we went. Oh, he went to work. He straight up left and went to work. <laughs> I was like, why are we leaving? Well, go and travel. <laughs> Back to the house. It's actually better than console. I got a lot of CC. Very good. What is your favorite CC you have downloaded thus far? And Michael, welcome in. How are you doing today, bestie? Welcome, welcome. Hope your day is going pretty well. Also, reminder, friends, if you see a troll or somebody being very negatively rude in the chat, ignore them. Let my mods handle it. They can ban them because we will not tolerate negative energy in this chat during an on-front page. Also, if I'm on front page, take a screenshot for me because that will be lovely. I want to frame it as children. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it only says Cassandra and Alexander. There's only the two. But welcome in. And I'm glad you're doing really good, Lethal Lynn. I'm happy you're here as well. I'm doing pretty swell. We are playing with the Bob Pancakes. The Bob Pancakes. And also Iggy Pancakes. Because we're giving Bob the life that he deserves. Without Eliza. Also, where is Alexander? Is he even here? Oh, he's right here. Child. I'm happy you're here. We're going to do a friendly introduction. Um... Your favorite CC is uh, was by Peacemaker and all of his kitchen and bedroom stuff. Oh, very good. I love Peacemaker. I haven't really downloaded any of his CC before. I did in the past. Who? I did before in the past, but then I took it out because I wasn't really using it. Oh, Xavier died. Oh my gosh. Please tell me he died at home. Oh my, please tell me he died at home. Our grandfather just died. Miss Jag10, thank you for the prime sub. I really appreciate it so, so much. Thank you, thank you. And also, Sarah, thank you for the 100 bits. And also for starting a hype train as well at 69%. Thank you, thank you so, so much, besties. I appreciate it. Love the mods. We really do. <laughs> Please tell me he died at home. Please tell me he died at home. You've got to be kidding me. Why can't Sims just die at home? <laughs> All I want is their grave. <sighs> also, Deb, did you just... I for... Oh, my... Wait, I wonder. I want to save my game. I'm going... to save as. I'm going to call this Bob's Life 2 because I want to go back to the save. And download Little Miss Sam's mod to find the grave. Because what I want to do is I want to make this like a pancake legacy family, you know? <laughs> I forgot to download the mod. And so you know what's going to happen next. Allison Humphrey's going to die the next day. She literally has one day left. That's what happened last time. On Christmas, she died. No, Bob. Bob's father died on Christmas. How did he get into the house without anybody living here? All the love in the world. I'm concerned. <laughs> Why does he... Does he have a key to this house? No one lives here, but he just walked straight in. That's kind of funny, honestly. Kind of funny. Kind of sus. But you know what? We're going to look for discarded toys in the trash can, because that's what we do. Kind of weird, kind of sus, but okay. 
Okay, let me change to my other scene. I'm too... Where's my webcam? Hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's my... Where's my webcam? Order. Transform. Oh my... Where did it go? Oh, okay. Okay, I see where it's at now. I see where it's at. I'm gonna move this whole thing over. Hold up, give me a second. There it is. I was so far in the back that I couldn't see. Wow. I was like, where's my webcam? <laughs> I can't see myself. Okay, that was weird. We're fine now. Anyway. <laughs> Anywho, spring sims cheer one, spring sims cheer one. Hey, Peach, thank you for the 19 bits. I appreciate it so so much. Thank you, thank you. I'm um, also Jade. Hello, welcome in. Rules clearly don't apply to kids, apparently, which is kind of surprising, kind of crazy, you know. You think of the most craziest things for these kids, and they just do the most craziest things ever, like wowzers. It's like, I live here too. It's like, oh, okay. Good, good. Spring Sims cheer one, Spring Sims cheer one, Spring Sims cheer one, Spring Sims cheer one, Spring Sims cheer one. <laughs> thank you for the bits again, Peach, for the 22 bits. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I just realized this whole time our restaurant was running. Oh no. I just realized that. Spring Sims cheer one, Spring Sims cheer one, Spring Sims cheer one. Where is my bunny? Here it is. I'm gonna put you here. There we go. Bits. Uh, where is it at? Where is it at? This one. There we go. Put you right up here. Oh. Since when do people get special cheer emotes? Um. You should have them, I'm pretty sure, I think. Or is it only for partners? I have no idea. I know that they're still, they, sh they should be there. That's weird. Everyone has them, I think. Thank you for the bits. Are you trying to do the hype train? Is that what you're trying to do? Spring Sims cheer one, Spring Sims cheer one. Is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> um, s wait, mm. John, welcome in. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Why are you s stop being sad? You're fine. <laughs> um, I think it might be only for partners for right now. It should end up, you know, eventually, you know, putting out for affiliates and more people soon. Um, let's see. But now you made the roster. Nice. Thank you all for the bits. I appreciate it so, so much. The hype train is now gone. Okay. Really? You want to be just like me? A very positive, inclusive, wholesome, welcoming, friendly streamer? I say go for it. It's the best thing to do. Because that's how you be a very nice and successful streamer on Twitch. But it's also a nice general person in general. I say go for it, honestly. You do you. Uh, anyway, my Sims are stuck under the covers. Really? That's weird. I would say um, try to reset them to see if it works. <laughs> Ooh, woo. Stop, you're fine. Everything's fine. If your Sim is tired, delete their but <laughs> Reset the Sim, they're fine. But anyway, friends, we are on the front page now on Twitch, I can see. Um, if you're coming from the front page, come on in. We don't bite. We are a very welcoming, wholesome people. We are sponsored today by AT&T, which is the best service you can probably get in your area. Um, they are really kind, very sweet people. Very responsive. On my end, they're very responsive. But if you would like to know... They are doing a very lovely giveaway of 50 50 gift cards to a platform of your choice theme xbox 
PlayStation. If you do exclamation mark A T T in the chat, click the lovely link in the chat to enter in that form. And there's a possible chance you could win a lovely $50 gift card to a platform of your choice. I think it's kind of worth it. I'm just saying. <laughs> No, I basically said, yeah, delete the sim if you don't like them. That or just delete their moodlet. One of the two. I do. <laughs> but, uh, Queer Tremor, welcome in. How are you? And Gas Gab, welcome in. How are you doing today? Um, but anyway, friends, if you don't know what we're doing today, we are playing The Sims 4, as you can see by the title of the stream. Um, we are playing with Bot Pancakes right now, given the life that he deserves. If you all agree, I believe that Bot Pancakes is the best sim besides Bone Hilda and Bella Goth. Bob Pancakes deserves a happy life. Just saying. Yeah, the command's on a cooldown. But I think I can do it again. So. Oh. Even a oh, it's like even a cooldown for the streamer? Kind of rude. That's no I'm kidding. Um, anywho's, you got us another. Oh, you got another sim pregnant. How many kids do you have so far? Hopefully, it's not too many. Uh, anyway, uh, but the link is in the chat if you would like to enter in for a fifty dollar gift card. So I think it's really cool. Pogs. Hogs, do you do an extra credit? No, he only has a C in school. <gasps> oh, let me close our business real quick. It's been open for 19 hours. Oh, see, this is what happens. This is what happens to me every time. I, I tend to forget um, that um, my business was open this entire time. There was one time I ran a restaurant for 36 hours. <laughs> Oh, my employees quit that day. It was very sad. Three Sims? Oh, my. Oh, Papa Joven, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well and swell on this fine Wednesday. How's it been? Not functional. Did they quit? Oh, no. Oh, no. They all quit. <laughs> I've been open for for literally 19 hours and they all quit. Oh, I can't deal with more than two sims at the same time. I don't know how to do it. I mean, it takes time, but I've learned that as long as you have at least a teenager or you know, in your household, it should be fine. If you're doing like the 100 baby challenge. Detective Flower, thank you for the host. I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking. How are you doing today? Hopefully you are doing great. I'm thriving in life, but in The Sims, not so much because um, my, all my employees quit, which is not great. <laughs> they all quit on me. Anyway, um, Bob should be home very soon. He doesn't get home until midnight. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my goodness. No, come play with your friend. He's right here. Your employees desperately need a union. Honestly, I think if they ever actually updated Dino, I would kind of like that, to be honest. And we have the option to give, um, put your sim employees on breaks. XOXO. And Remkin, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well. Welcome, welcome. Uh... Oh, wrong message. Oops, excuse. NPC Sims will never give birth to a baby. Really? Impressive of, of a guest. Oh, because it was said to be... Oh, okay. That makes more sense then. Okay. Well, I guess we have to wait then for the next one to show up. Why did the employees quit? I was, op I was, I accidentally opened up my restaurant and then I forgot to close it and we were open for 19 hours. Um, Eric, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well. Bye. No, we're not going to buy that yet. Um, we're going to watch a cooking show. Yes. 
um, Bob ruined my Sims life, so we had to throw a Denny party serving. Po oh, poison, poison pufferfish nigiri. Really? How did that go? How did that go? But also, hi. How are you doing? <laughs> um, and ghost, welcome in. How are you doing today? You should get a message. Um, if. If you ask a sim to, if they are willing to expand their family, they will, um, like text you and you will get a notification. But if you got another sim pregnant, well, actually, yeah, if you got another sim pregnant that was not in your household, I believe they'll text you because I've had that before. Or like a notification. Yeah. Either way, you'll, you'll get one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't quit overtime. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like overtime, you should get paid overtime in The Sims. That'd be funny if it could, if it could happen. Yeah, you should. You should be able to get um a notification. <laughs> well, Bob and Eliza are now seen through Sims. So, you know, true, true. Imagine being a kid at 1 a.m. on a school night. Couldn't relate. Well, I could technically when I was, um, in university, he can actually leave. Ooh. Uh, let's see. You doing good? Oh, I'm so glad you're doing good today. I'm doing swell. We're playing with bot pancakes. We're trying to our best to maintain our life, living alone, trying to thrive in our business. We're gonna get new employees at some point for our restaurant, even though the ones that we had quit or not. I'm glad you're here, though. Okay. I'm not sure how many more I will get pregnant. Honestly, are you doing, like, a challenge? Are you doing, like, a 100 baby challenge of any kind? Is he leaving? Oh, he did leave. Perfect. Thank you. Bob, I'm going to have you come over here and go to sleep. No. Oh, just in general. Oh. My day's going pretty great today. If you all don't know, um, if you can tell by the number, um, I don't want to know. Don't tell me or you get banned. Um, <laughs> either way, we are being sponsored by AT&T today, by the way. So you see these like little thing down below, that thing up in the corner, in the other corner. I'm being sponsored by AT&T. So that's why I'm on the front page. And that's why there's a huge number in view counts. It doesn't mean that they're actively here in chat. It just means they're watching from the front page. So don't be alarmed by the number. But if you are from the front page or you hear from the front page and you would like to know, AT&T is giving away 50, $50 gift cards to a platform of your choice, Steam, Xbox, PlayStation. All you got to do is click the lovely link in the chat. Here from the front page, hello, XOXO booth. How are you doing? Hope your day is going pretty well. But I would like to see somebody do 100 pounds as a male sim. I've done it before, actually. Bella, if you want to watch my playthrough of the 300 baby challenge, by all means. It's on my second channel on YouTube where I had a male sim and I got everyone pregnant in The Sims 4. It took a while. I think like seven, seven months to complete. It was worth it because it was very hilarious. But oh my gosh, there were so many sims. Um... Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's requ I have to have these on my stream at all times. So it's a required thing for the sponsor, saying you're going to have these three things on your stream. Like, okay, say less. Andre, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope your day is going pretty well. But yes, the 300 baby challenge, where I get everyone pregnant in The Sims 4. If you want to watch that playthrough back, you can. You do X mission mark bods in the chat, it will tell you. Mm-hmm. I say go for it. Also. Real quick. Body. Um. Literally, everything to do, just. Oh my gosh, do you just like having? 
Do you like doing challenges then? I say if you like doing that, play the 100 baby challenge. Or like the A to Z baby challenge. Like at this current moment, we're playing two challenges. Not so berry and then the A to Z baby challenge. Right. Oh, okay. Good to know. Good to know. No, not the land grab taking my power. I mean, I did break them up, so... Technically, the holding a grudge against me, apparently. Do you feel very giddy today? Honestly, same. I'm so happy they're getting the boost because you delivered. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Honestly, when AT&T reached out to me saying, we want to sponsor your stream like for three months, I'm like, what? Excuse me? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> I love AT&T as a brand because I, I use them. I have at and I have at and Fiber. Um... This is the fast, reliable internet you can get in, in your area, if it's available. And if you don't have AT&T Fiber in your area, make sure you check their website to see it, because they're always adding new locations all the time. And also, MG, welcome in. How are you doing? And also, Monique, how are you? Um, which is really cool. And if you all didn't know, this I am not doing the sponsored, you know, thing alone. There's actually this uh, class of 18, or well, a class of 2021 with AT&T with 11 other streamers. Um, technically four out of the 12 in that group are simmers like Rochella, It's Me Troy, Momo was Fortune, we got Slayers, um, we got a few others too, D uh, Domo, some really, really awesome, cool people part of this class. And we have, we have mentors. My mentor is Cypher PK, who is a Fortnite, mainly Fortnite streamer, but he does variety as well, but his main game is Fortnite. And then the other mentor is the Botez sisters who play chess. So, yeah. Miss playing The Sims so much. I honestly say I stream The Sims all the time. I stream every single day except on Sundays. However, on Wednesdays, I normally stream at 10 a.m. Central Time. But the day was a special stream, so I went a little bit, a little bit later in the day. But, you know, it's all good. If you have any questions about The Sims, I am more than happy to answer them. Or anyone in chat can. You're trying to get all the achievements. That's what I want to do. You're a mother of five, so, uh, so you think I have no problem having a baby challenge? I mean, I feel like IRL kids are somewhat manageable. Then Sim kids, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> um, MJ, welcome in. How are you doing today? Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see here today. I think the most kids I've ever had in The Sims 4 was one single Sim was like 102. But that was like during the 100 baby challenge. And I remember there was like a time where I got overwhelmed. Like I can't do anymore. Let it end. Let the chaos end. Bill Star, welcome in. And I'm glad you did really good, MJ. I feel good. I don't feel overwhelmed as I usually am. I feel actually pretty good. Um, it's not hot here anymore. So still doing good. How much of the Sims have you uh, how much is Sims I haven't played in years? So originally it's like $40, but right now the Sims 4 is on sale on Steam, Xbox, PlayStation, and Origin. Um, there's a sale going on right now until the 5th of January. I believe it's like 50% off for the base game. So get your stuff now. If you want some packs for either for The Sims 4 or The Sims 3, get them now. How do you not get bored? I love The Sims, but I can't play The Sims 4 for so long as I could others. My recommendation is always trying out challenges that change the way you play the game. Like, for example, I'm playing the Not So Berry Challenge, which is a 10 generation long legacy challenge created by Little Simsy and Always Simming, where each generation is a different color, but also different careers you have to do, different aspirations you have to achieve, skills, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's really cool that way, because if you, for example, don't play with the astronaut career, there's a certain generation you have to play as an astronaut in order to complete um, that gen to go to the next one. So it's really interesting, I would say. And I say, when in doubt, if you want to be poor in The Sims, play Racks the Riches. <laughs> That's just like my go-to. Loopy Soup, welcome in. 
you only do the 100 baby but my firstborns are all dying off now oh no i'm so sorry that's never fun when the firstborns die off do they have any kids though did they continue their legacy their generations the the last one in the 100 baby being a twin i was like do i delete the twin or keep them i end up keeping them after a certain point in time if i don't want them i just give them to the other uh father <laughs> like you can go live with them you keep i keep making these big family homes but i lose five i lose it in five minutes and get gameplay i'm the same way i have a, a way where i play in spurts or i build in spurts half the time because i'll either play for hours and hours and hours or months on end and i get bored of that that one save file and i make a whole new one just to like you know stay sane you know that's just usually what i do for the most part when you evict the sim like a young adult in your house so what happens to them they just end up in like the neighborhood you know the neighborhood bin they don't really go anywhere they don't do anything they just stay there until you move them into a home or into like a home with a sim or just like by themselves also, thank you for the reset for two heckin' months, Alley Cat. I really appreciate it so, so much. Thank you, thank you. This is The Sims 4, the fourth generation in The Sims franchise. And also, by the way, The Sims franchise is going to be 22 years old. Let that sink in, because that's just crazy. In like two months, in February, on the 4th. You got it for $6. That's very good. RPG, hello. Okay. I do use mods, yes. I use a variety of mods. Normally you would see my save file filled with a bunch of custom content, which as of right now, it is not at the moment, just because I typically have different save files for different things. And normally nine times out of 10, I will play with a bunch of CC, but for this one, not as much. I do. I reblog a bunch of it on Tumblr as well. If you're looking for any CC in particular, I have a CC finds Tumblr. You end up keeping her in the end, but the choices you have to make in this game are wild. Oh, they really are. Let me just tell you, there was a time uh, that happened before we got on front page, like, like about 30 minutes ago. I am not kidding. Literally, Bob Pancakes got electrocuted by lightning. And then five minutes afterwards, so did Eliza. And I'm just like, what is going on? It's it's wild. Sims out here being being wild, you know. But RPG thing for the 100 bits. I've been playing Sims forever since SimCity. I loved SimCity. I was a chaotic child when playing SimCity because I would do the most chaotic things like tornadoes, all the stuff. Very time consuming. I recommend trying it. Yeah. If you love being poor in The Sims, I recommend Rags to Riches all the way. Because one, you learn new ways of making money in The Sims without having a nine to five job. So I think it's worth it. How do you get the challenges? I just got the game. So you can either look like on Tumblr or, you know, Reddit or The Sims forums. You usually have a bunch of um, like challenges out there. But if you want to do like an interesting challenge that I created myself, you can do exclamation mark info in the chat because I have this challenge that I'm creating myself called the Mix Match Legacy Challenge. Yeah, lurk away. And also, Billy, hello. How are you doing? And thank you. I appreciate it. It's fun being on the front page. Scary, but very fun. And I feel a little bit more relaxed than I was last time because last time I was very, you know, stressed. <laughs> but it's fine. You know, hey, front pages can be can be crazy, but also fun at the same time because you meet new people that you haven't met before. We get new audiences. We get new friends in the spring squad and it's fun. So, you know, hey, the more the merrier, I always say. <laughs> I feel like who hasn't done Rags, which is, is the real question. I play it all the time. Every chance I get. Every chance I get, I will play it because I love being poor. Because being rich in The Sims is kind of boring, to be honest. They died from electrocution. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. That's not fun at all. 
And I'm glad you're doing good today. I'm doing so well. We are being sponsored by AT&T. We're just chilling out, playing some Sims, giving Bob pancakes the life that he deserves. The usual things, you know, the usual things. And I'm glad you found the streams as well. And also, Caitlin, hello. How are you? And one thing that you want to know, one thing that you probably don't know about me, my friends, if you're new to the stream, I normally read every single chat message individually because I can do it like that sometimes. However, today it is nearly impossible. So if I miss your message, don't take it personal, okay? Don't take it personal if I miss your message. It happens. <laughs> oh, Rich is the rags. I feel like I want to try that, but I'm like, who do I, who should I make that challenge with? Made it, maybe Judas Ward is the option. Maybe she's the, the one I can go for. Riches to rags. Because she probably deserves it. Because she doesn't need money. And bipolar tension. hey -o. I don't really have high hopes for The Sims 5. I mean, we still have a lot of years of The Sims 4 still. So I don't really see The Sims 5 happening anytime soon. I'm keeping my... I have very low expectations for it. As of right now. But you know... I hope it's like great, at least. <laughs> More than one color of the map. That's all I can hope for. Because when The Sims 4 first came out, there was only, the whole entire map was just one color. There was no color of any kind in this game for the map wise. Um, and then they didn't update and then they had color. It's like, ooh. You got cottage, uh, the Cottage of the World is really, really big. It is. And it's very hard to find collectibles because it's so huge. I agree. I'm a very relaxing streamer. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I keep it because it's fun to save him and give them the path to follow. Yeah, I agree. Uh, let's see. And also, Patricia, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well. Welcome in, welcome in. But yeah, today, if you don't know what we're doing, we are playing The Sims 4, which is a life simulation game. If you want this game, it's currently on sale on Steam, Xbox, PlayStation, and Origin, where you can find it. That's available to you. Um, I say get it now while you can when it's on sale, because when it's not on sale, it is quite expensive. Um, I also say if you have $67 in spare change for yourself and you want to play The Sims 3, it's on Steam for $67. You can't beat that deal. You really can't. Um, I say it's worth it, but even though that was Judas Ward, I think it's just worth it. She doesn't deserve money. More worlds. I feel like if we got more worlds, I would want something less Americanized, in my opinion. And if we got Sims 5, I'd rather it be semi-open than rather than open world. I feel like open world would be too much when you think of The Sims 3, you know? No toddlers, no pools. No, like, no toddlers. Like, I want to tell you how hard it was between The Sims 4 and the, in 2014. No pools, uh, no ladders, no toddlers, no basements, no half walls. Um, it was no ghosts, no move objects. It, we were really struggling in The Sims 4 at the very beginning. <laughs> like, when I tell you when we had The Sims 4 at the very beginning... You went from a baby to a full-blown child, and it was scary. And also, DX, welcome in. How are you doing? How do I be just like you? You can't. <laughs> you can't be just like me. You got to be your own person, be your own individual self. We all have our own individualities. No one can be just like me. It's, a, it's impossible. No one can be just like me. You got to be yourself. Because if you try to copy, like, here's the, here's the thing. If you try to be somebody like somebody else then who really are you? You don't have your own, your individual personality, your shine that you express every single day won't come through on video or in stream if you try to be like somebody else. The key thing is to always be yourself. Don't be like somebody you're trying to copy because that's just not good. That's not how you get ahead in life. That's not how you um, be successful of any kind if you try to copy somebody word for word and be someone that you're not. That you're not like, you know? <laughs> I'm barely myself half the time, too. I'm literally insane sometimes. I talk to myself a lot. 
So, yeah, if you want to be a streamer on Twitch and do what I do every single day and make this your full time career, be yourself. Literally, just if if you are listening from front page right now, just be yourself. Literally, be yourself. And like, and if you say, "Oh, I won't have a lot of viewers. Oh, I just have one viewer." Well, that's cool. You have that one viewer that's watching your stream because they decided to watch your stream. Like, oh, I only have 50 followers. Well, that's 50 followers more than somebody else. That's 50 people who decide to follow you and watch your stream because they like your personality and they like your content. Never, never like depreciate your value of who you are as a person because when you are not hyping yourself up or you are like degrading yourself as an online personality, it's not gonna be good for you. Always tell yourself, okay, just because I, I only have 50, uh, 50 followers, I know one day someone will appear in my stream and follow and actually, you know, enjoy my content and my community will grow over time. And that's all you can hope for, growing your community over time organically. Always be organic, be friendly, be welcoming, be wholesome. I'm just saying. The key thing is to just be yourself. Never go in it for the numbers. Never go in it for, I want to be famous. I want to have all these sponsors and all this money. Never go into that. Please don't. I repeat, please do not go into it for the wrong reasons because you will ultimately not succeed if you do it that way you'll it'll happen but it might crash and burn very quickly so always go in it you want to build a positive healthy welcoming community and you want to grow your following organically and have fun by doing it so yeah anyway my pronouns are he and him yes that's my ted talk um you're welcome is there a specific reason you like the color yellow well, it's always been my favorite color since I was like a very young, young child. All my schools had it for the school colors. It speaks to me as a person for being positive, sunshine, bright. And so that's what I portray. And that's what I like about it. And plus it kind of like the sun, it's yellow. It gets you up out of your bed, makes you feel a bit more excited about your day. At least I think it does, but yeah. Um, that's me. That's why I look at the yellow. A little deeper meaning. Anyway. Thank you. I hope you all learned something today because if I can make a person's day better by just, just being here and doing what I do, then I feel like I achieved something. And also, thank you for the 300 bits as well and all for the follows as well. Thank you. I'm a very chill person. I don't do anything chaotic. All I play is like The Sims, Minecraft, Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, some story-based games sometimes as well. Um, but it all depends on like what I want to do that day. I agree. Go, in, go into it because you like sharing your online time and content with others. Exactly. And like never stream something that's like very popular unless you want to stream that game because you were excited for it. But never think, never go into thinking, oh, I'll stream this game because it's very popular and give me a lot of followers. Don't think that way. I lit. wait, he didn't quit? Are you, wait, wait a minute, hold up. I just remember, did she? Oh, I never knew her. Okay, here, here's my thing. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Either my chef quit because they were displeased or they quit because they died. Because I forgot that she was an elder. <gasps> oh, I think I think I don't have a chef because she died. That makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why did they quit? Just because I was open for 19 hours doesn't mean they have to quit, you know? Like, what the heck? What is this? You like orange? That's, I like oranges. Oranges are cool. Keep doing you. You avoid sunlight. It's a, But it is a nice color. That's true. I avoid sunlight as well. I don't like going outside. I never leave my house. 
I don't see the point in it, you know? The way the word sims, no dying allowed. In my restaurant, we have people to serve. You know, I guess that's a pretty good excuse, you know? I guess. <laughs> if she quit because she died, she's a real one, true. But you know what's crazy, though? Marcus Flux is married to Judas Ward, who is the richest sim in the game in Delso Valley. And that just makes me like, why? <laughs> you just have to say it. I just logged on and heard your message of being about being in for the right reasons. I wasn't having a great stream recently and I, I needed to hear that today. You're welcome. We always, you know, there are days where we may not have always, you know, the, the most best streams of all time. But as long as you were having fun and your community was having fun, I say that's a successful stream. You know, until the very end. I'm here until like 4 p.m. So I'm here for a while. <laughs> dying on the job. You know, there's sleeping on the job and then there's dying on the job. What can we do? What can we do? What kind of brand? I like the cuties. The cuties are really good, personally. Those are really great. They're like small, bite size. Not of like no hassle, personally. I wish we could select the sim. We we're playing the chef. I've been saying that for years. I've been saying that for years. I've always wanted to have the ability. Oh, she had the baby. Oh, that's nice. Um, having the option to hire someone that off the street or hire my family members as a chef, or do it myself, because that would be so perfect. Blue pancakes, it is Bob Pancakes. Why did I choose the name Spring Sims? Well, I said it in the um the uh showcase stream with ATT, and I said that my allergies act up in spring, like the short the like synopsis of my name is that my allergies act up in spring, and I love the Sims. But the deeper meaning behind it is that spring resonates the season. Yellow, positivity, the brightness of it, the coziness of it. Depends on how you like define it to your, like, yourself. I discovered it as positivity, kindness, love, welcoming, wholesomeness. So that's like kind of why I chose like the first name, Spring, and then like Sims, because I play Sims all the time. That's just me. Is that my classmate in the chat? Is that Rochella? Is that Rochella? In my chat, who's also a part of the class of 2021 with AT&T, which is the best networking get for your internet with AT&T Fiber and also cell service. Is that Rochella? That is her. Hi, how are you doing today, bestie? I hope you're all doing really great. If you all didn't know, a good thing that I want to mention, if you didn't know already, AT&T it's giving away 50 $50 gift cards to a platform of your choice, Steam, Xbox, PlayStation. If you exclamation mark ATT in the chat. Why you like The Sims? I'm shook. It's every single time. It, what the, why are you? A huge giveaway. The one and only, the one and only Rochella. You like pancakes? My, my hubs doesn't like them. His bro made all of them for the, as kids, his mother made them eat them. His bro was just being mean. Oh my goodness gracious. You gotta be kidding me. What? What? I prefer, I mean, I like waffles and I love pancakes, but I feel like, you know, waffles and pancakes are great. Needs more training to cook on the top menu. Oh, maybe because they also quit because they weren't being trained enough. Maybe that's why. And also, Cat Love, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well. But I want to give you all some quick facts about AT&T. If you all didn't really know, AT&T Fiber. So with AT&T Fiber, fast, you have faster internet experience at 25, 25 times faster upload speed than cable. Unlimited data included. I'm just saying. One gig speed option. Ultimate low latency. King under 11 milliseconds i mean you can't beat that you can't beat 11 milliseconds if you use at&t fiber 
fast, reliable, stable internet. I got level two. Oh my gosh. So if you didn't know that, now you know. But now if you don't have AT&T Fiber in your area, you can go to att.com and you can search up if fiber is in your area. If it is, I say grab it while you can because hey, it's worth it. Personally for me, I only pay $50 a month for 300 up and down with AT&T Fiber. I love it. Who died this time? Who died? Anyway, but yeah, I only pay $50 a month with AT&T. Who died? Oh, Allison did. Oh. Hmm, to each their own. Take notes, bestie. Take notes. $50 a month for 300 up and down is quite a steal, honestly. I'm just saying. The Sims follow me on Instagram. They do. And they also do the game. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's what I need right now. Honestly, everyone needs fiber. Fiber is like the most reliable and stable internet you can get in any area like it's the best option like if it's not in your area be on the lookout you have at&t fiber in your area or to at&t in your area you can get fiber i say get it <laughs> it's worth it personally you wish you could get fiber at your address but i don't know but if i to start the digging um at&t <laughs> Hook them up. No, I'm kidding. Um, please do. I would check their website to see if it's like, if it's like getting close to the area. Because what's so interesting is that my parents don't have fiber yet in their area. And I only live like 15 minutes away from the area. Like I have it on my side, but they don't. But I know that they're like still like pushing it out to people every now and then every so often. So I always like say, keep checking their website to see if there's, if it's there. You know, uh, I love how <laughs> you can get rid of this morning. I just delete their moodlets. When in doubt, just delete their moodlets. It's easier that way. UI cheats is the way to go. Eating their needs. It's what we're here for. <laughs> uh, anyway, getting so many dings right now. Oh no, not the dings. And you're also welcome, J.P. Brown, if you're still here. Yeah. I'm always here to lift people up. And I always say, my if I can do one thing to make a person say, I will do it. Always here to bring the joyful, positive yellow vibes in someone's day. Yeah, if you want to know what mods I use in The Sims 4, you can do exclamation mark mods in the chat and it will tell you. Are you leaving? Why are you scared? Stop being scared. You're fine. Wah, wah. Grow up. <laughs> Happy moodlets only. Only happiness. Also, I I put in the fast internet lot trait into this uh, restaurant because Bot Pancakes must have AT&T fiber in his business establishment if he wants to grow his business. Eventually, at some point, he will grow his business to be a five-star restaurant. We'll add in an internet cafe. And then eventually, people will come here more and they'll have the best internet of all time. And people will say, wow, you have really fast internet. What do you have? Oh, speaking of internet, I have AT&T Fiber. That's what I use. <laughs> I use AT&T Fiber for my business. And so should you. And Bob was like, here you go. Here's a lovely link for you to go to if you would like to get it for yourself. So that's something. I'm going to pay for training. Did I pay for training for you, Dylan? Dylan Cole Sprouts? Oh, what? why did you go outside and get electrocuted? Also, why is it raining? No, it's going to be sunny. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Not like this. Not today. Not today. Oh, I want to know who all has seen the new movie, Don't Look Up. I would love to know because let me just tell you, not going to lie, I do be liking that movie. I've seen it three times. I have a bit of a problem. It's just a good song. It's a good movie, but and also, also, also Ariana Grande. Great. It's so good. 
The customers don't seem to appreciate my work right now. At least they're not complaining either. Well, if you don't go outside, they won't complain as much or they'll, you know, actually like your work. <laughs> it's so good to hear the extra effort I'm putting in. Isn't notice? Thank you. You're welcome. Bob, okay, you know what? No, 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 no. We're going to just take your gloomy trait out because, Bob, you're not sad. You're fine. I don't care if Eliza Pancakes didn't say hello to you last night. <laughs> oh, no, he's sparkling. It's because that my waiter went outside and got electrocuted by lightning. And it's like, no, no, no. A slod... He was a slob, a loner, and gloomy. That was just some bad looking trick. He's a foodie, family orientated, and he's also ambitious. I can find it. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, but yeah, it's been one of those days. One of those days. Uh, he saw it and it was good, but I think the cast was better than the plot itself true true in a crash welcome in how are you doing today would the cast was way better the plot was um was like okay a comet's coming and like what's next you know what's next my dad was like so shocked that it was a, an actual song when i told him like that's an actual song on spotify is it has like over 13 million streams already so i'm like it's worth it um <laughs> and pug welcome in how are you doing today hope your day's going pretty well and thank you for the follow and thank you again for all the follows as well i really appreciate it by the way appreciate it so so much tomorrow if you all want to appear in the stream tomorrow i stream tomorrow at 6 p.m central time i'll be playing the sims again but i'm actually gonna be playing the a to z baby challenge no actually that's a lie I'll be playing the Not So Berry Challenge at Generation 8 tomorrow. Yes. We're wheezing. It's like, Bob, you're fine. Stop complaining that you're sad. Next year, my goal is to cry less. What are, what are your goals? Uh, I just got another best call. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear that, Savvy. Can we get some hearts and some love and chat for Savvy, please? And thank you. That's never fun. A family member dying is never great. So sorry to hear that. And I'm glad you're doing really good, Pug. I hope it is warm where you live, because right now in my area, it is not. I don't like this weather. Mother Nature's icky. Uh, let's. Um my brother to drive me to the gym oh cool i haven't been to the gym in a long time it's been a hot minute the gym okay i'm gonna have you don't criticize i'm gonna speed up your work quickly, but not carefully we'll fine. only one customer um so sorry to hear that snow you're not the only one my mod dabney 96 in chat wants snow and i'm like ma'am no i'm sorry we live one state apart and i don't want it that's too close i don't want snow snow is not for me if i had snow i would cry luckily i don't have to shovel my snow which is great that's like a fun thing i'm gonna boost up the advertisement to like no we'll wait until it's like good and ready at least we have like eight Ooh, park points. Here is customer. We're going to get another meal rush. No. All the ingredients. We'll get this one. And then we'll like leave. Snow is fun to watch through the window. Yes, through the window. Outside in it? No. It snowed again for you? Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> That's never fun. I think it was, was it was like snow. There are things where it's great to have it, but it's like when you're going to shovel it, even off of your car, and it's icy. I haven't gotten snow at all. It's been raining a lot, but it never has snowed. Ma'am, where are you going? I'm going to close this restaurant real quick. Yes. 
<laughs> meal quality growth opportunities, meal service, and oh, meal quality and better service, but meal value is better. Okay, level four, level three, or level two, or level two. Okay, that's good. Nine hours seems good enough. Your dog just joined to watch the stream. Look at that. We love a dog viewer. I want a dog so bad. I am not kidding. Luckily, I have to wait. <laughs> I have to wait. I would rather watch Snow in The Sims. Okay, same. Same. Well, I always say this. If you don't want some IRL, do it in The Sims. If you don't want to sleep, have your Sims sleep for you. It's easier. That's what I do. Uh, but rain is more fun to watch through the window. Yes, everything's more fun to watch through the window, in my opinion. I think that there are times where I'll either love something or hate something. It's most like weather related. No, 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 Mother Nature, go away. I don't want this snow. Leave me alone. You've been playing Sims while watching you. Ooh, what have you been doing in The Sims? I would love to know what you have been doing lately. Uh -huh. We're going to boost our relationship. Bob has technically found the one, but we technically don't know if Zoe Patel is the one or not for us just yet. It could be, but then again, we don't really know. She could leave us. She could cheat on us. Bob has a very hard time accepting affection from other people. But then he also has a very hard time deciding if it's really worth it to go into another relationship after leaving another one. He's been always hard on himself, both physically and mentally, where times like this that he doesn't feel like he deserves love. But, you know, in reality, everyone deserves love, you know, every once in a while. <laughs> It only snowed twice where you live, once, and it didn't stick. Then yesterday, it was already gone. That happened to me one time where it snowed, and then it became sunny, and then it rained. And then I was like, are we good? Is everything all right? Oh, you got The Sims 4 a couple days ago, and it ran through, ran through the money. Oh. It's left over. Why are you sad? You're fine. You're fine. Your homework, bestie. Thank you. You just started the A to Z. Ooh, how are you liking it so far with the A to Z baby challenge? We're currently getting close to ending that challenge right now before we go into Gen 3 of my legacy, which is going to be the asylum challenge, which I'm looking forward to. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you taken out your CC in your game? No, I haven't. I don't really use a bunch of CC when it comes to like Bob's save file because I tend to keep him very, very vanilla. By the way, your background in your webcam is a green screen. Nope, that's my actual room. <laughs> my actual room. This, this is all real. All real. Look at it. It's not, it's not, it's not fake. It's real, no green screen, real Christmas tree. My walls are actually yellow. I paid $500 for that. Um, it's actually real. <laughs> Imagine this was a whole green screen the entire time, it'd be funny. I have arms, streamers don't have legs. <laughs> oh, mood. But how do you know your room is real? Are we in a simulation? You know, okay. No one has ever asked that question. Now I'm like, wait. Is it all fake? <laughs> imagine, imagine it's holding like, wait. I know it's real, but do I know? <laughs> imagine, that'd be, fun. that'd be very funny. That'd be very funny. It's like my mind just got expanded. I'm like, whoa. 
<laughs> Imagine this whole time your room wasn't real. What would you do? Would you freak out? I would start contemplating life, like pick up everything. Walking up to the refrigerator, literally just yesterday, literally yesterday, I walked up to my, my fridge and I'm like, what do I eat? Granted, full, like the, the, the fridge was full of food, everything. And I'm just like, there's nothing to eat in this fridge. I close the door. I sit on my couch for a good solid two hours. I walk up back to my kitchen. Like, did I eat food? It's like, I don't know what I am anymore. I'm just a sim, basically. I'm just a sim. I imagine we were all in a, we're just all sims at this point. We're all just sims. Steven is a hologram. Wait, we all are hologram smiley face. You know, we could be holograms. We could be fake. But also, thank you for the for the bits as well. And also, Elf Coffee, thank you for the two months of resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, yeah, if you want to know if your game, if your game having, hasn't, wow, if you're having issues with your game, you can go to uh, Twitter. Simguru Nick is the QA specialist analyst. I forget. He's part of the QA team. His literal, his literal job is to help you fix your game. Or help you fix your game. Simgur Nick on Twitter. <laughs> I just fully understood what the Matrix is all about. What if we're in the Matrix? I was watching that movie just the other day. For the fourth time already. They keep falling asleep. <laughs> it's too long for me. It's too long of a movie. It's like... Uh, it's like two, almost three hours long. So I'm like, uh, okay. Oh no, it's so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Savvy. Opening fridge, getting nothing, closing fridge equals checkpoint simulation. Yes. Take you 30 minutes to walk to your room as a sim. Yes. We are basically sims. We're just sims. That's all we all are. Are we actually humans? No, it's, you have a sink right there. Oh, there we go. Auto saves your progress in life. Yes. Yes. Does it auto save my hunger? No. <laughs> that reminds me when, um, if you've ever played D GTA San Andreas, I play that game religiously a little bit too much. Um, but, um, every time you want to go to the kitchen, it's, um, it, you know, you save your game and it's like kind of funny. It happens that way. <laughs> oh, think of the things. Scrappy, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well. I think we all should go on vacation at some point. Probably after Iggy goes, comes back home from school. Wait, speech lag? Wait, in the game? That's weird. I never noticed that actually in the game. I never really pay attention to my Sims like talking ever, like their voice. But apparently that's a thing and I never knew that. What does sleeping do then? I guess a checkpoint, yeah. Yeah, so sleeping categorizes as your checkpoints and that's where you sleep. Bridge is where you save. What's the front door then? This room is kind of cozy. Oh, I'm glad. Uh, did you buy the remake of San Andreas? Yes. Well, I, I have the, I have Xbox Game Pass, so I got it for free. I mean, yes, it's way better than it was way before because I have the original um, disc and oh my goodness, it is so much better. More enjoyable to play. Uh, happy holidays. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Well, you too. I appreciate you coming in and expanding our knowledge, our mind today. Appreciate it. Hope to see you next time at some point in the future. I know you're rewatching the Matrix movies, but this time I understood what was going on next to watch Matrix Revolution. I have Matrix Resolu Rev Revolutions on, um, I think, VHS and then Matrix Reloaded on DVD. Do you know how your Sims can play the Sims on the computer? What if that's us? Oh my goodness. Another thing could be, could be us. 
uh, streaming for today. Um, for four hours, I'm going up until 4 p.m. today. 4 p.m. I've been alive for almost two hours today. So it's just fix the toilet and it's filthy. She keeps pranking it, which makes me very sad. I'm like, Zoe Patel, please don't. We just fixed it. This household's out of control. Maybe she's not the one. Yeah, we're on the front page of Twitch. We are. We are. We definitely are indeed so. Also, another reminder, frenzies. Um, if you would like to enter into a giveaway with AT&T to win a chance, a, a chance to win a $50 gift card to a platform of your choosing, Xbox, PlayStation, or Steam, do exclamation mark ATT in the chat. Um, cause they are giving away 50, $50 gift cards, by the way. So got 50 chances to win. Oh, what's making you play the Sims? What, wait, what makes you play? like playing the sims honestly i've been playing this game since the very start of the franchise in the year 2000 and i think i like the idea of controlling micromanaging and um kind of telling stories i've always been this type of person who wants to be able to one escape reality because everyday life is chaotic and stressful not anymore which is great um but like, I like telling stories, telling stories of my own or somebody else's story or things that I see in movies or books that I read lack thereof or TV shows that I've watched before that I want to tell in The Sims. Like, for example, like Bob Pancakes has had a life growing up in life for the past seven years, living and being married to Eliza Pancakes until recently when he decided that he couldn't take it anymore and decided to divorce and leave Eliza Pancakes, not only take the child, but also take the house. And now he's deciding to pursue his life on his own, better himself mentally and physically to find the one for him that will, one, help him in his endeavors and pursue and like boost his career and his business as a father, chef, and entrepreneur. But little did he know that he had a very hard time to figure out what he really wanted in life relationship wise because one his life was an utter mess with Eliza two his father never really had any type of commitment when it came to relationships career and just well-being and so that kind of stuck with him for so many years since he was a kid with his father and with the recent passing of his father he is now deciding if he really wants to pursue this whole chef career and start pursuing his restaurant full-time and so it's taken him some time to think, but you know, I think he can do it. I think he can definitely do it. And eventually at one point he does want to have some type of legacy to pass down to Iggy Pancakes, which, which is his son with Eliza Pancakes, who lives next door, by the way, and um, see where he goes from there. And um, yeah, that's the tea, that's the life, it's a lot. <laughs> Bob finally found happiness. I took away his uh, bad traits. He's currently dating Zoe Patel at the moment, who's asleep in the bathtub. But um, he's doing all right for himself, which is good. And also, Jordy, welcome in. I was watching you. Uh, watching my uh, Thomas Watson YouTube Let's Play. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. We're almost done with that series. I'm going to be recording another episode soon to wrap it up. Does Bob not have a bed? He does. He just naps literally everywhere in this house. And it's like, don't, please don't. You have a bed right here. Ridiculous. My favorite character I've made in The Sims. That's a tough one because I've made so many Sims in my lifetime. I would probably have to say um, you're kissing her chin. Um, I made a, a new sim recently named Aspen. Oh, I forget her last name, but her name is Aspen. Her first name is Aspen, but that's not my favorite sim. I think my favorite sim of all time I've ever made was Nina Marie Larson, who I made so long ago when we got the Sims for Cats and Dogs expansion pack and I've loved that household for so long and it's been like my favorite 
sim I've ever made. Their story is so great. Their backstory, how I like portray them, how I control them is so much fun. And also, hey, you just want to stop in real quick and say I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Well, thank you. But then there's, a, there's another one too that I really like as well. Um, I recently made a sim who was an L, who's a bisexual sim Hunter Novak who lives in the world of Sam Ishuno. Um, so I make a bunch of sims that I really like, but Hunter Novak and Nina Marie Larson are like my two favorite sims. I really, really love a lot. I play the most. Yeah. Oh, and Aspen, that's the other one. So three. He developed those bad traits because of Liza. Yes. If you didn't know this, if you look at the Get to Work trailer, Eliza is actually going to jail, which is kind of funny. What inspires the stream? You. You all in chat. <laughs> I, like, you know, the, the joy of streaming comes and goes, as you all know. But I really enjoy, like, what really inspires me to stream every single day is because of you. You all in chat. Like, I enjoy hanging out with you all, talking to you all, spreading, you know, positivity and love each and every day. And being able to, like, capture these fun, friendly family moments that we get to experience together as a community is what keeps me going every single day. So, yeah. Uh, Courtney, welcome in. I have played Sims Guesser. Yes, I have. I am a bit of a pro, by the way, at the game. Has he recently updated it yet, though? to the new worlds or is he still like still taking it then the last time i looked at it was new christ magnolia promenade oh it springs all the hidden worlds and i think another one i forget oh and but two so do we and thank you and nisha sneeze hello and also ravenclaw welcome in if i didn't say hello to anybody that if i missed your message um don't take it personal hard when is a lot going on? But I see you all. I appreciate it all. Thank you very much for being here, hanging out with me. Um, let's. I don't know, but I think that Sim Guesser is way more fun than Geo Guesser, personally. In my humble opinion, I think it is. I have played Fortnite before. If so, what's my username? Spring Sims. I don't play. Here's here's the thing. Even though my my mentor is Cipher PK who plays Fortnite for a living, um, I don't play Fortnite a lot because one that game gives me so much anxiety <laughs> and it stresses me out. But it's a lot. But it's like one of those games I'll play once in a blue moon. But very rarely I'll play it because that game is a lot for me at least mentally and physically. But also Arc Lily, how are you doing today? Day's going good. Oh, magic conch shell. What do we need to do to get out of My favorite Sims game? Sims 2. Nothing. I love Sims 2. I love Sims 2. It's so much fun. Have I collaborated with other Simmers? Yes, I have. <laughs> Multiple Simmers. Uh, I've collaborated with Little Simsy, um, X Urban Sims or Urban Sims, Ocean Sims. I've collaborated with, I have collaborated with a lot of people. I was on the Sims Spark TV show with a bunch of other Simmers, English Simmer, Umbella, uh, Little Siha, um, Dr. Luan, X Mira Mira, Sim Prove, Dr. Ashley, Defo Sims, D e Sims, Urban Sims. I was on a TV show because of the Sims. <laughs> um, I did a, I've also done a, a bunch of podcast episodes with Simmers as well. We're actually going to be playing with a bunch of other Simmers on Friday with Among Us plus Dan on Friday at 3 p.m. Central Time. So and by that you can as well. <laughs> it's your first time watching? Well, I'm glad you're here. I appreciate the, the love. You've been playing The Sim 4 for four years? That's crazy. The Sims 4 is almost eight years old, and the franchise itself is almost 22 years old, which is even crazier. Like, wow. 
Arendell, welcome in. How are you doing today? And thank you so much. I appreciate that. If I have encouraged you today, I appreciate that. And I've done my, done my job right as a person, a human being. Did you say Sim Guesser? I have. So if you don't know The Sim Supply or James Turner, formerly known as The Sim Supply, um, he has a website called jamesturner.yt. He has a tab on his website called Sim Guesser. It's like GeoGuesser, but with Sims. You have to guess where in the world you are, you are in The Sims. So I will not play Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite's crazy for me. Um, I will not play Fortnite. My favorite game that's not The Sims. Ooh, I have been really enjoying a lot of uh, Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing a lot. But I do play more than just The Sims. I tend to play a lot of like Minecraft, Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, story driven adventure games. Like recently we just finished this one game called Old Man's Journey. We're going to continue our playthrough of Spirit Fair since they did their last update of that game recently. Um, yeah, I like The Walking Dead. I'm replaying it again on my Xbox for the 17th time. That's not an exaggeration. I'm really, I really mean it. We'll play it again. Dr. Gluon, yep. He sh I don't know if he's going to be there or not, though, um, on Friday. He might be, but we'll see. I have played The Sims with Evil. Yes, I love that. I've never collaborated with Lauren Z-Side. No, I've met her in person, though, at Sims Camp one time. Yeah, I mean, I've met her. I've met a lot of Simmers and a lot of YouTubers in my life. By Dan, you mean Duck Dan? Yes, Duck Dan. Simmers plus Dan. <laughs> How do I play The Sims? On my PC. My personal computer. I'm going to have Bob and then Iggy go for a nice little... Go hiking, Iggy. Where are you at? Right over here. I'm going to have you go hiking as well if you can. But if you didn't know, you can actually play The Sims on Xbox or PlayStation if you didn't know this. Enjoy your alert, car, car. Merry Christmas in this household. I have Devin Bumpkin so cool. I was like, have I met him in person? I think I've met Devin Bumpkin in person at Sims Camp, I'm pretty sure. I've met Hey Harry before as well, but Devin Bumpkin's so cool. He actually made, uh, I believe, two of the builds with Cottage, like with the Cottage Living Pack, um, which is really cool. I do listen to K-pop. I do. Do indeed. BTS. That's all I listen to at the moment. We're at pack seasons mod UI cheese and MCC kit country kitchen kit. Playing like the game, you just play it. Um, it's really simple to play The Sims, to be honest. It's not that hard. I mean, there's a lot of things you can and cannot do, of course. Like, you can't literally just go whack and do crazy with anything. Um, you can try, but you can't. Um, it's mainly just like playing how you want to play. If like, if you want to build, go build something in build mode. If you want to play with a family, have your Sims have kids. Or, you know, if you want to definitely one day, uh, you know, grow a business, you can do that. There's a lot of packs in The Sims 4 that give you that option to build a business, start a club, um, become a famous celebrity, make videos online like a YouTuber or a streamer. Um, there's a lot of things you can do, but it's like really easy to play the sims there's a, like there's literally a tutorial in the game at the very start of the game if like you're brand new um there are like different pop-ups that show you like oh if you want to do this you can do it this way or do it that way but if you have like any questions in like pacific um you can definitely uh thing i'm happy to answer those questions what can i do in the sims i'm new so what do you like to do generally um in the sims or like just like in general, like in video games. Like if you like university, you can send your Sims off into university and get a higher education. That gives them the option to like have better paying jobs, have a degree. If you like multi-generational type things, you can do a legacy. 
where you have your family tree growing and growing and growing until, until you're bored. Um, there's a lot of ways you can play. Like right now, we're currently on Gen 2 of the Pancake Legacy with Bob Pancakes. Gen 3 is Iggy Pancakes as of right now, but I just found The Sims and I don't know how to play. Oh. I just say if you have like literally you can watch me I'm playing the sims right now at the moment so what I'm doing like if I wanted him to watch tv I click on the tv and channel surf but it's like mundane type things if I want him to sleep I can have him go click on the bed and sleep but yeah just watch me and I'm playing the sims yeah better than minecraft okay True, welcome in. And Tail Lord, welcome in. How are you doing? Uh, if you're just starting out, there are houses. Yes. Yeah, so if you're just starting out in The Sims 4, you don't know literally anything about this game. There are starter households in The Sims 4. If you see like a little plumb bob, like a little diamond shaped thing above a certain like house in the map view, click on one of those households. And you immediately already have a house and a sim family you can play with and kind of carry out that playthrough. Like the goth family, for example, is the most prominent family in The Sims 4. They've been around since The Sims 1 and they are a very iconic family. There are literally sims, starter sims you can play with, starter households, starter, you know, budgets everything you even actually can go into create a sim you start a new game you have the option to um kind of create a sim through a story a series of questions that will it'll ask you and once you're done it kind of showcases like oh this will be their starter budget this will be their traits this will be their aspiration their dream career and then you kind of have all that bare bone stuff already there for you which is kind of nice so it's really cool. You play on PS4? Nice. If you didn't know, if you have, if you play on console, you actually have keyboard and mouse capability. So instead of playing on a controller, you can play with a keyboard and mouse, which is kind of cool. I'm just saying. What? Oh, I didn't type it that one. Able free build. There we go. Better. Ugh. I'm obsessed with cast and I have tons of mods for it. So do I. I have so many mods. <laughs> NCC and cast. It's kind of ridiculous. Kind of wild, to be honest, on how much stuff I have. So if you want to go into build mode, you can press F2 on your keyboard to go into build mode, by the way. If you didn't know that, now you know. Um, put this... Over here for a second delete this i'm also using the sims 3 camera because by default you have the sims 4 camera which is quite icky by the way i would never use the sims 4 camera don't do it don't even try don't do it it's not it's not good <laughs> we also have bunk beds in the sims 4 and murphy beds in this game i'm looking for single bed where is it at i think it's this one Sims can die in this game, by the way. Children cannot, well, that's a lie. Toddlers and babies cannot die. Regular kids can die in this game from series of things. Oh. Morning. Well, it's not morning. It's like more like so afternoon. It's like 2.17 p.m. Just wanted to hop in and say thank you for the chill stream. Well, thank you for popping in and saying that nice message. I appreciate that. Do you kill Sims for fun? If it works in my favor, yes. There are sims that I will just like, you know, you got to go into the piranha pool. In you go. Um, sometimes. Sometimes I kill sims for fun. More, less than others. Because I would categorize myself as a family game player. I play with families. I tell stories through families. I have multiple kids because I kind of nice to have... A lot of kids in the household grow the lineage, grow the family, stuff like that. I mean, I'll play a challenge like the Black Widow challenge. I'll do that. 
That's what's fun. What's the difference between the two camera modes? Oh, you. Ew. <laughs> so, you know how you can like do a 360 view? Like I was doing, like I can't, I can't go top view. This game won't let me go top view at all. I can't go up. I can only go side to side. This is the Sims 4 camera, by the way. Side to side. And if I wanted to move like forward with like my mouse, I just have to drag. I hate that. I hate that. That's that's not me. I hate dragging my camera. Too much control. I can't go top view. The only way I can go top view is the Sims 3 camera. 360, all of it. But if you wanted to move objects in your game, like by alt placing it, you can't do that with the Sims 4 camera. For example, let me show you. Also, NX, NYX, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going good. But let me just show you. Oh, by the way, I'm also in the world of Granite Falls. The pack or the world that came with Granite Falls, the first game pack ever to be released in The Sims 4. So if I'm on The Sims 4 camera and I want to, oh, well, there's something. There was something I couldn't do. Oh, I can't freely rotate. I can't freely rotate the objects. That's what it is. With the Sims 4 camera, I can't freely rotate the objects. But with Sims 3 camera, I can. Sims 3 camera, freely rotate whatever you want. But Sims 4, you can't do 360 rotation with objects or camera view, which is kind of icky. So Sims 3 is better. Just saying. Nikki, welcome in. How are you doing? The whole camera is a reason I met you. Very good. Outdoor retreat. It's another vacation world. Your Sims can go on vacation. I do not have a thousand Simones to spare. Sorry. Call them out for never to paint you back. Yes. Um, but uh, yeah, you can go on vacation in The Sims. We have... Three like generic vacation worlds, Granite Falls, if you have Outdoor Retreat, which is a game pack. But two, if you have Journey to Batu, which is a Star Wars pack. Selva Dorada, if you have Jungle Adventures. But what they recently added in not too long ago when we got Snowy Escape is the option to vacation in any world in The Sims 4. As long as you have a vacation, like a rental lot in that world, you are good. So I think it's really cool. Hello, everyone. Uh, MS, welcome in. How are you doing? You're new here to the stream? Well, hello, Kylie. Welcome in. Royal, hi. You play, Ro you play Roblox? I know Megan plays. Who plays Roblox? <laughs> the only, like, I only know Roblox because of Megan plays. Megan's really cool. The kind, human, passionate entrepreneur, streamer, YouTuber, extraordinaire. Do you use cheating LP? Yes, I do. I would not stay sane if I did not use cheats. I cheat all of my Sims needs, aspirations, if necessary, if need be, for storytelling purposes. But mainly I just cheat their needs, the time of day, the weather, the temperature, their moodlets if I don't like it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just varies per Let's Play. Oh, it's like a phoenix. Oh, a nyx. Oh, re okay. Speaking of like Greek mythology, I'm recently, I'm watching um, Percy Jackson right now, the second one on HBO Max. Also, buddy Nick, welcome in. Hello. I'm glad you said something about the camera. It was driving me crazy. I can't believe I didn't notice it. Welcome. Your life has changed forever now. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. I really try to be nice. I always say if you're nice to me and the chat, I'll be nice to you. If you're not nice. You. <laughs> Simple as that. Those are my rules. Spread love, kindness, and positivity everywhere you go. Because when you do that out in the world, you will also get it yourself. That's all I ask. Now, where in the world is the thing? Or is this 360 no scope? I know. Oh, here it is. 
I was like, I can't find the hidden world. I would love more hidden worlds in The Sims 4, by the way. So frustrating to switch. It is. Like, if you're not used to The Sims 3 camera, like, if, you, if you've never played The Sims 2 or 3 and own The Sims 4, I can see why it can be very difficult to switch between the two. It becomes charring for, ha for Hades. Really? Huh. There's also a video game called Hades, which is a really good one. I do use mods, yes. My favorite ones I like to use a lot is like MCC and UI cheats. This is like my favorite, like micromanaging cheats I'd love to use. Okay. The largest in famous bin. It's very hard. Um, normally my streams are not like this. So the reason why you see an influx of numbers is because I'm on the front page of Twitch. And so if you don't know what that means, if you go to twitch.tv, there's a carousel of like streams. I'm literally on the front of it right now. So there's like an influx of viewers. And it doesn't mean that all of them are like actively in the stream chatting. It just means like some of them are watching from the front page. Um, just so you know, normally my streams are not this large <laughs> at all. We, very, we have very like chill, calming streams. Um, we usually hang out. And also Forge and Drip, welcome in. You gave up. Look at the Sim for a camera. Interesting. We're going to ignore it. Um, I do play Nintendo games. The only game from Nintendo I usually play on my Switch are... Um, uh, what's it called? Animal Crossing. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Animal Crossing is what I play on my Switch the most. Secondary is like Stardew Valley. Uh, you came here, you came here from, from page? Nice. I'm doing really good today. Thank you for asking. We're playing with Bob Pancakes, given the life that he deserves in The Sims 4 today. And, uh, we're just chilling out, playing some Sims. Uh, welcome in. You're from South Africa. I've always wanted to go there. It would be interesting to go to South Africa. I know a person who lives down there. Oh, you started my show. How are you liking it? Hopefully it's going great. Did you do the roofing yet? Make sure you follow. I am from the United States. The United States of America want to go to the moon and live in space because Lordy Lou, place is crazy. And have you socialized with Zoe Patel? Have you built, no, no, leave. Leave, 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 yes. Have you socialized with Iggy? Do you watch the Summers, uh, Summers play MCC? Yes. I do. I, I root for them every time I, I can get. Every time we, we root for them, they lose. But I'm not losing faith, there's no way. I will keep cheering the Simmers on for the MCC. We will win one day. Simmers will take over Twitch. Ooh. You're building a beach house, which is really fun. Oh, cool. Cape Town. Um, TJS, welcome in. How are you? A wall eye. What is that? I've never seen a walleye before. I have to say, fishing in The Sims 4 is way easier than fishing in Ant. Mm, that's that's hard. I would say Sims 4 is equally easy as it easy is as easy to fish in Animal Crossing. Equally easy in both. But it's better in Sims 4 because the fish tend to run away if you get too close. So yeah. I moved to the States in 1901. Nice. You like it here? <laughs> oh, anyway. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so happy you got seasons. I say, if anything, the one pack I recommend to everyone is literally seasons. It's seasons. You cannot unsee seasons. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot have an unseasoned game. Like with salt, not having like not having salt on your fries. 
just gotta have seasons. It's on sale right now, so I'm just saying. How do you turn the camera in the, in the stream? Am I in the... Oh, am I game with my mouse? With my mouse. Or if you want to rotate the camera, you can press the comma key or the period key. Comma key or period key rotates the, the camera in the game. But I usually use my mouse, which is like that middle scrolly button. Uh, to move the camera around a little bit better. I have a little bit more precise angles that I want. Uh, seasons brings so much gameplay. Yes, if they ever updated seasons, I would love for them to add festivals like they had in The Sims 3. When I first was playing The Sims, I was bored because of lack of seasons. Yeah. The thunderstorms and seasons are frightening. Yes. The weather do be quite realistic in this game. True. Not having seasons for eight years was boring. It really. I feel like with seasons now, it's like way better. Because like when you think about it, the more packs that you add into the game, the be better seasons got. Especially like during now the holidays. I like the idea that we have a calendar system. It makes it easier to like see what's happening each and every day. It's also my first time even like going on vacation in The Sims 4 with the new calendar system when they updated the calendar. Like seeing all the icons when their birthday is it, when their birthday is, who ages up when, stuff like that. It makes it so much more enjoyable and more exciting, honestly. I think season should have been an end base game. I think it should, but then again, I don't know. I feel like we always should like wait for things, but then I'm always skeptical of things, you know? I want to have a dinner party at our house. Gargoyles are are actually a functional functional purpose. They are designed to drain water from the roof with a spout. Really? I didn't know that. Huh. The more you know. The more you How does Bob not know anybody? Oh, because we're not on a home lot. Never mind. We'll do it when we come back home from vacation. It is very hard to find a sim. It's been a perfect lot for your sim to live on. It really is. The world I only ever live in is Willow Creek and Oasis Springs, and that's literally it. I don't do any, I don't live anywhere else. Like, if any, I would go to Brindlin Bay or like Rochester. It, it depends. It depends for me most of the time. Also, Shy Games, welcome in. How are you doing today? The calendar does look more nicer. It looks so much more enjoyable to look at. Because before, we didn't really have any icons of any kind of anything. We could just kind of see the background image of the season of that. Week. And if you wanted to expand, like, the season, you would like to be longer than seven days, you could do that. I think the length you could do it um, is 28 days. So you could have, like, 28 days of summer, spring, winter, fall, if you wanted to. You also can have like your options here too. For like what rain you want, what snow you want technically. If the weather affects on the Sims, icy conditions, thunderstorms, stuff like that. Um, you also have the option to turn off certain things like per pack. Like let's say you don't want to have eco lifestyle for the naps voting. You can turn that all off, bust the dust. Even the cottage living where animals start aging and also get famous. And also, Daff, Daff, thank you for being here, for modding for us. See you next time in the next stream. Have fun. Rest of your day. Um, I'm sure since I've got seasons, I feel like it will. I feel like it, it, it will launch without seasons because it's always like been a staple since the very beginning with no seasons. And personally for me, I feel like if we got seasons at the very beginning, it has to be like somewhat good for me to enjoy. Like what we had for seasons like for the sims 4 but in the sims 5 but not as clean does eliza have new hair does bob or did bob cheat on another wife um bob did not cheat bob left bob got out there running i had bob and eliza get divorced because i can't stand their relationship anymore um he has a newfound lover named zoe patel right now 
they're not married of any kind. They're just like kind of casually just dating. Uh, I got them divorced. I love The Sims. My first Sims game was The Sims 2 Pets on PS2. <gasps> Ooh, and then on PC. I love The Sims 2. I play that game religiously. I post it on YouTube all the time. We stream it pretty regularly here on you on stream on Twitch. So I love The Sims 2. It's like my favorite game to play. Besides like The Sims 4, so it's really cute. Okay. And then checking out the stream. I'm checking out like this. Stream. Oh, thank you. I heard about South. I just heard South Africa and had to tune in real quick. Have a good day. You too. Yeah, some viewers here are from South from our from South Africa. Let's see ya. Do you do hype trains on here? Yes, I do. I do hype trains here. I never encourage people to do hype trains, but if you want to do hype trains, you can. Feel free if you want to. I'm not stopping you. I always say you never have to be subbed to or give bits to be in the channel. Never. Like literally just you being here is totally enough. But if you want to support the stream, I wouldn't be opposed to gift subs for bits or anything at all. It depends. It usually depends on like what say if I, I usually play in. Normally I play in normal lifespan, but if I really love that family, I'll do long lifespan. Yeah. To do oh I can't do it again. Two dots enable. Bob's living his best life, the only life he needs and deserves. We only own a base game, and it's so weird without playing seasons. My kid owns most packs, so I know what I'm playing with seasons like. Yeah, that's very good. Oh. Also, thank you for the bit, for the bit, and also for the sub as well. Appreciate it so, so much. Thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoy all the emotes here in the spring squad. We have 26 emotes, by the way. Five animated emotes, six, no, 21 static emotes, and then five animated emotes. Bob coming this kid. Bob is gloomy no more. I took away that trait. Yeah, I did. Also, if you didn't know this, if you have Amazon Prime, you actually can use your Amazon Prime account to connect with your Twitch account to get a free sub every single month to a streamer of your choice. I'm just saying, if you got Amazon Prime, bestie, connect it to your Twitch account. You get a free sub of your choice every single month. Because you, you also get like perks with like games you might play. Like I play League of Legends sometimes. I started to and I got a lot of rewards because I have my Amazon account account he <laughs> hoo hoo isn't bob's kid named iggy yeah iggy pancakes like iggy azalea that's how i describe it i notice indeed yes indeed i do have you joined this game over here iggy let's have you there we go there we go prime gaming loot will be quite great it. I've been uh, playing League lately and I feel like I'm getting better. I started out being like a noob and clicking random buttons a lot. And I'm like, I should, you know, do something about this. So it's like, it's great. Quite nice. Quite great. <laughs> uh, this is your first stream? Well, hello, Dig. Welcome in. How are you? Um, my favorite league champion, uh, oh gosh, Jinx. Jinx, the only that I know. The other one I, I have like free of the play is like, I forget what they're called. It's like some type of like rock character. Like that was an M and I forget. Is your first from here too? Well, hello being thrown o slash in chat that means raising your hand o slash in chat if it's your first time here quick question Brent Hacking and I are planning to spend more time together well Nancy he's in a relationship I don't even like you but go for it have fun yes male fight yes 
that's that's the one. Uh, I have watched Gluon's multiplayer streams. I have indeed. I saw the one that they did with Delhi as well. All three of them. It looks really interesting, but I feel like that mod is unstable. Is a thing. It looks very hilarious. I saw the one that they did um like some type of a uh, Monopoly or some type of like board game. And I'm so glad you're doing really good today. And welcome in new friends. I hope you're all doing well. Today is a day of positivity and kindness. And that's the tea. Boy, wake up. Clean up the food. What is that? Chimey? I don't know what that is. Chimey? Oh, so many things we gotta do today. I want Bob to definitely learn some new recipes, so I'm gonna have him explore a bit. Uh, normally, we do a lot of this on stream. Normally, we play like Sims, if you are new. Nine times out of ten, pretty much every single day, we'll play the Sims. But, but times like this, we'll play like a story-based game. Like just last week, we were playing City Skylines, which is another game I play religiously. Um, I have an obsession with City Skylines at the moment, so I think that game's kind of great as well. Ooh. Oh, it glitches at times, so it's hilarious. I think that's the kind of joy in it. When the game glitches, it's fun. Yes, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for being here. I appreciate the company as always. And thank you all for, you know, supporting. Honestly, I never really know. I never expect people to show up to my streams at all. But I appreciate the, for you all coming by. Even if this is your first time here, sticking around in a sponsored stream really helps a lot. And it really means a lot that y'all like, you know, hang out with me and spend time and chat and be kind individuals. So thank you. I appreciate you for all that you do. I wouldn't be in this position if it weren't for you all, honestly. AT&T wouldn't be sponsoring me if it weren't for you all watching my streams and being just interactive and just being yourself. So thank you. So. And also thank the AT&T for sponsoring today's stream, by the way. Didn't have to, but they did. I'm a part of their class of 2021 with AT&T. With 11 other streamers, so thank you. I appreciate it. it makes me feel ooh woo. I looked at them and I was like, oh yeah, no. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Sim glitches in general, which is more hilarious. What are your favorite glitches in The Sims? Because mine are um, Sims 2 glitches. Or no, more so, the memes that come from glitches are very funny. You want to see my city? We'll have to play it at some point next week because I want to play more of that. I feel a lot of progress on my city. I love looking at my city at night, just play, get music and watch the city. It's so nice, but not when it burns. When the city burns, it makes me sad. I worked so hard. I've learned a lot from watching city planner plays on YouTube. Um, so yeah. Oh, Bob. Go collect your stuff. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate so, so much. Do you play as townies or custom characters? A bit of both. A bit of both. Normally I play with custom characters. But today I wanted to play with Bob because I think Bob deserves the life he deserves. I post a bunch of my Sims on the gallery and all of my houses I ever build are also in the gallery. But if you want to see photos of my Sims, I've got plenty. I actually, Bob, while well, Bob talks to Malcolm Landgrab for a hot minute, I'm going to show you a picture of my Sim that I recently made not too long ago. I can find it. Um, up. Uh, my favorite glitch is when the dog has a child. Have you ever seen? Oh, I know. That one's horrifying. Literally the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That is creepy beyond all reasons. That That's literally not the scene I need. The wrong scene. The right one. 
Yes, there it is. Um, I've made, I made this sim right here and I made this child sim. I make a lot of sims all the time. Normally nine times out of 10, I'll make sims like out of random. Like that's a sim I make. I made a while back ago. There's another one. Here's my sim Aspen, by the way. Another one, a house I built recently. Wait, my game's not paused. Pause my game. Um, I built a bunch. I'm glad you like my stuff. I, I really appreciate it, honestly. I spend my days building, creating sims, uploading them to the gallery, playing them on stream, for YouTube, all the things. Here's Aspen again. Gorgeous Sims, you post them anywhere. The gallery. I don't really post on TSR, but I am reworking on posting on there again at some point to do that. My houses and Sims I make. Yes. Because my, my content isn't, my custom content I get is not all from TSR. It's mainly from Tumblr and some from TSR. It depends. Here's a toddler I created. Skin blend. Oh. I was afraid of that question. Honestly, my skin blend depends on a lot of things. Um, I have about seven different skin blends I use. I'm pretty sure I put it in my um, mods list. Should be there. Is that from the gallery? I want her to make her alpha makeover? I believe so. If not, I can add her onto the gallery. I want to find another good one that I really, really like a lot. Um, Hold up. Let me find something real quicky. If I can find it, I'll show you. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did I go? Come from? Where did you go? Where did you go? I can't find it. It's fine. Yeah, I can't find it. It's okay. It's fine. It's whatever. All these tabs jaded that's the one yes i couldn't remember what it was called but yes jaded is the one i use a lot and also untable flame how are you doing today and also dramatic blossom hello i'm doing good today how are you hope you're doing good uh do i prefer alpha or max's match i prefer both to be honest i have both in my game like i don't go heavy on alpha because it's not really what I use all the time. Um, I mainly use a lot of Max's Match content just because one, it fits the game and plus it fits like my gameplay style. But I will stylize my Sims with both. Like I'll give my Sims alpha eyebrows from Praline Sims and um, piercings from Praline Sims, lips, like makeup from Cryptic Sims, Urban Sims, um, and a few others that I, that I use. Um, clothing is really much in-game content and some CC like Nolan Sims, Grim Cookies, Sim Trouble. All of my hair for my females that I use on frequent are like Ebonics, uh, Sim Trouble, Nolan Sims, Savvy Sweet, or now they're called Shea Butter, actually. I had to use a lot of hair. I have like nearly almost nine gigabytes of custom content. And I'm glad you're doing really great. You get the parenthood bundle and I can't wait to see how it affects gameplay. Oh, you're gonna have fun. I love gameplay in parenthood because I think what they added from parenthood are character values. Oh, that's not the right one, wrong sim. Character values are fun to look at because you have manners, emotional control, responsibility, empathy, and conflict resolution. It's like parenting your, your kids and it all depends on how you parent them because that can affect their future job wise and relationship wise. So it's pretty cool. Um, Praline Sims. I love Praline Sims. We're going to go into cast anyway. I want to give them. Um, well, Hobie, I had 18 gigabytes laugh time. I need to delete it. Some stuff. Hobie. Would you like to share with the class how much CC you have at this current moment? Hmm. 
MNT, welcome in. How are you? It's no escape words to buy. Let's see. I don't play with that pack as often because I don't go skiing or snowing because I don't like the snow IRL. Um, I do like the build and buy objects. Build and buy is 100% worth it because it's just everything is matching. And I love the culture behind it too. Um, I don't live in that world as often because I just don't just forget about it sometimes. I usually use it as a vacation world. It all depends on what you prefer, like what you like, to, like what you like doing in the game. Generally, like if you like doing gameplay and like family content, I think you'll like you'll enjoy it because like if you want to go to the mountaintop and do like a mountain expedition, you could do that. If you want to go skiing and sledding with like your toddlers and your kids, that's like fun family moments you could do. I say it's worth it for build and buy gameplay. I I'm still like 50 50 on right now for gameplay well it varies it varies build and buy i use in every build like 224 gigabytes of cc interesting interesting if you don't have at least 15 gigabytes of cc are you really playing the sims that's a mood that is true i mean technically i have over 300 gigabytes in cc and mods for the sims 2 backed up in my game, actually, in The Sims 2, two, two gigabytes. But backed up on my hard drive, over 300. Because I don't delete stuff. Best world to build in, Willow Creek or Newcrest. Worst, Batu. <laughs> Batu is the worst to build in. But I say you could do no wrong with Newcrest because it's an empty blank world. They can stylize it. Carve it how you want, build wise. Bob has a dad bod. He does, and he looks great. Doesn't work out as much, and neither do I. Looks cute. I like that one. I think it's good to look at when it comes with the pack. I got some escape for build for the build mode. Yeah, it looks great to look at. And what's even cool, you don't even need seasons to have that pack because part of the world is snowy all the time. It snows all the time in that in that part of the world on the very top. Oh, if you like want extra like weather effects, then you need seasons, but you don't really need seasons to have snowy escape, which is nice. And that's on the front page. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. You like taking families to, the, to that world to spend time? Some day sledding and festivals. Yeah, the festivals are very nice to go to. I agree. You have MCC and no seeing your game. I feel like the game is plenty has plenty of stuff already with the packs. Yeah. I'm like, you don't really need custom content to really have fun with the game. In my opinion, you don't. I've learned to play the game without mods in certain save files that I play. Just to experience the game differently and see what it's like. This is not one of them, because that's just not gonna happen. But um there are saves that I just play that just like, you know, with odds. Because I'm like, I just want to play it for what it is and see what it's like. Because I've grown accustomed to just like mods every day, all day. You know? Didn't know you could build them, but two. You can. If you do bb.enable free build on, it allows you to build in any, on any lot, basically. Besides the secret lab from Strangerville, you can't build one. Sadly enough, I wish you could, but you can't. Even the hidden worlds too, the secret worlds in the game, you can build one if you type in that cheat. I give you this one. You have a CC addiction, very good. I should get another kid. That's my plan. That's my plan in this game. I want another kid. I have multiple saves. I have at least 15. In my like in my save folder backed up i have like over 30. but two is not that bad it's very underrated but like it's not a bad pack i just don't like the gameplay not my thing i love star wars they never have a single movie i gotta watch rogue one again because i fell asleep watching it but bad um 
what? <laughs> I like the realistic CC, but managing errors in mods is frustrating. It really is. It really is. Oh, well, thank you for being here. Uh, Gregory, appreciate the company as always. See you next time. I also don't think that was a bad comment. I don't think it was. <laughs> I think it was like a good thing. I don't know. People say that all the time to me. I don't know. I wouldn't be. I would just, yeah. I think it was fine. I was like, oh, cool. But also, Geo, if you're still here, <laughs> is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. Like, mm, it's a good thing. I'm like, oh, cool. I have a very relaxing voice. 15 saves, I feel guilty. It's like my four saves. Honestly, it all depends on how you control your game. It's all good. We all have our our, our things. They thought it they thought it was like a bad thing because people end up saying, you put me to sleep because you're boring. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. From patient gets crazy sometimes, so. Don't take it personally. Things get, you know, misinterpreted sometimes we chat. Um, but I appreciate that it was a nice message. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. No, No, I haven't. I think it's, all, well, I haven't recorded it, but I streamed it. It's been a while though since I streamed it, but I do want to make some videos around SimGuessr at some point for YouTube. <laughs> You're welcome. From with front page things can get very, very wild. So it's like a lot of people come in and chat. So yeah. But either way, I hope you enjoy your stay here. <laughs> Regardless. Um, I was gonna say that the stream was perfectly timed because I downloaded the Sims after probably like a year of not playing. Well, I'm glad you started playing again. Um, even having trouble with the Sims 4 because I got I deleted most of my CC and I can't make my Sims look like how I want them. Oh. Sorry. I say definitely play with a bunch of the facial features in the game. Like use the facial features that you normally wouldn't use and kind of like carve it and shape it how you want. It may take some time, but I say it's worth it though. I also have a hard time with that too. I use the, well actually I think I recently took out, I was using this one mod by Zerbu. It's the more cast preset mod that was using a while back ago. Um, you gotta go because I'm getting my internet fixed, so maybe I'll be back in time. Let's hope so. <laughs> you know, hey, all good, all good. All good, all good. Internet must be fixed all the way. Very good. Booting up the Sims is the way to go. What is this? How many do you have? We're gonna put this in, in our inventory. Bob didn't collect all the things that he needed to do. We leave her for a vacation in a couple of hours. I think he needs to grab a few more things of an unidentified flower. Actually, what's this one? Harvest it, harvest all. We'll just harvest everything, it's fine. It's fine. Um, You have Sims on Origin, but updating takes hours. What's the best server for Sims? I don't think the Sims has like a server. You can like go on to have better download speed. It all depends on what your um, upload speed and internet is like, which I think, because I have AT&T AT &T Fiber, which is a fast, reliable, stable internet that I possibly think is the best, the best personally. I, I have 300 up and down, so it's like never below 300 or it's sometimes higher than 300, which is actually kind of great. But it's never like below 300. So I've always had like stable internet. And usually my game updates in like two minutes. Depending on like how big the thing is. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Dylan. Sometimes the raids go through, sometimes don't. Because um, Twitch changed a, a thing where I think Twitch or, some, or someone did. I don't know. Something changed where raids won't pop up if it's less than five viewers, which is kind of rude. To be honest, but I appreciate the rate though, either way. I say no stream rate is ever too small, in my humble opinion. So, 
Any plans for New Year's? Not really. I mainly am going to go to my parents' house and just chill there. Because I'm not streaming on New Year's Day. I'm streaming on New Year's Eve. I'm going to play Among Us with my Simmers. With my Simmers? Simmers and friends. Simmer friends plus Dan. He's also a friend. So instead of Simmers plus Dan, we'll go with that instead. But um, New Year's Eve, Among Us. New Year's Day, parents' house. And probably clean up my apartment even more. Because my apartment's a mess. I have so many things. Yes. Uh, the Sims 4 is on Steam. Yes. Yes, it is. It's also on Steam. It's also on sale. I think on Steam is a bigger sale than Origin, I'm pretty sure. We got a new laptop recently and I, wanted, I waited three days for The Sims to download. Three days? That's a lot of days. And Yusuf, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well. A little from my laptop, that's for sure. It took me, I think, 15 hours to install GTA 5 on my old computer. 15 hours of leaving my computer on to install GTA 5. There was no way I was ever going to uninstall that game. That was no way. No way. Um, you're new. Well, Lily, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well. How's it been? Welcome in. Will Dan ever be considered a simmer? I think, you know, in my mind, I think he's a simmer. Because he edits Kayla's vi videos, so, and Kayla plays Sims every single day on YouTube. So, I mean, yeah, he's a simmer. He's played Sims. He's a simmer. He's a simmer. You need to take a shower, but I don't want to. Clean thyself. Showers are good. Hygiene is important. I find some more stuff. Let's see. Arbus is one. Some basil. Uh, you're new. What are your favorite recommendations for some content? Ooh, my recommendations. My content's quite interesting, I would say. I stream on Twitch every single day, and I also upload on YouTube as well. Uh, Sims content. But my favorite content for Sims content wise is challenges. I love doing racks of riches because I love being poor in the Sims personally. Just saying. I also do the not so berry challenge and also the A to Z baby challenge as well. So I say anything that has like to do with like making money from like the very start with no money and like earning your way up. It's always fun. Yeah, that's my favorite type of Sim content. I like to enjoy doing challenges. Even build challenges, especially when it's like a shell challenge. But also, Bucks, welcome in. How are you? And I'm glad that you're doing good, Lily, and I'm doing great today. We're still on the front page, or I think we're almost off the front page right now with our sponsor, Connor, with AT&T. We're playing with Bot Pancakes, giving him the life that he deserves. And we're about to go home today, actually, and go back to our restaurant. So far, so good. When you open up this in the, my, my laptop, it feels like it's going to explode. Here's my thing. If NASA cannot run The Sims 3, all hope is lost. The same. Also, hey. Also, Sebastian, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope your day is going pretty well. Look at you rocking the front page. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Clean this up. Um, you can't play The Sims 3 because it won't, won't load, but Sims 4 is fine. The Sims 3 is pretty, you know, powerful. You have more than 150 saves. Interesting. Not interesting. Insane. <laughs> Gamers Republic, welcome in. How are you? Also, if I've missed anybody's message of any kind, um, I'm sorry. It is hard. Just repeat it and then I'll see it again. I don't know if we are talking about, uh, talk about it, but, oh, oh, content like packs. Packs, why, what I recommend. Oh, if that's what you mean by recommendations for content, seasons, parenthood, tiny living, laundry day stuff, kids room stuff, toddler stuff, uh, city living. 
I was like, wait, content that you want like, to enjoy, but packs. They're on sale. So Seasons, Parenthood, Tiny Living, Cottage Living, Kids Room Stuff, Toddler Stuff, Nifty Knitting, Country Kitchen Kit. Those are my recommendations. Yeah. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to hop off stream. All good, all good. Fuzzy, thank you for being here. I appreciate it so much. Kids make, mess in the, make messes in The Sims all the time. I'm like, no, you're cleaning this up. It keeps their character values better, like their responsibility and manners go up when they clean. Okay. The way out of these two, which ones you recommend is where they can decide how to look at cats and dogs. Oh gosh. See, I don't, I've learned, I don't play, I don't add cats and dogs to my Sim families anymore. I just don't. I like the world. I love building by, but I don't play with cats and dogs anymore. But I just say go with cottage living. But if you love furry animals, then I say cottage, cats and dogs is the way to go. Because the other thing too, the pets do take up a household slot is a thing. But then furry animals are nice. Because you can have a vet clinic. You can run your own vet clinic if you wanted to. This value. Oh, that's hard. You're welcome. I just say go with cut with cats and dogs. Cause I mean, honestly, you can't go wrong with pets personally, but I barely, I rarely use pets in the game. We didn't have them for a long time. And I stopped playing with them for toddlers, making messes, make their imagination go up as well. That is true. It's a lot of work. That is true. That is true. Oh God, this is hard. <laughs> this is so hard. I don't know what to do. Um, having a pet and a kid is asking for one of them to be neglected and sent for that is also very true. I neglect my Sims already. I can't neglect my pets. Who's calling me? Brent Hecking? Over to his house? No. What about the leave vacation anyway? Oh, Zoe Patel, you want to end your vacation? End the vacation. End. I like having animals in the world, but I don't ever use pets in my household. Same. I do recommend Cottage Living because it's a new it's a new pack. And I love cottage core, like the aesthetic of cottage core is like my thing. I particularly enjoy that stuff. So I say go for it. Build and buy is top of the top tier. Wonderful, personally. Could do no wrong with cottage core. But then again. I don't really see anything bad with cottage living. At least for me, there isn't really anything bad for me to say about it. Because I, I enjoy it. Pond tool, cottage square aesthetic, the world itself is nice. The whole atmosphere of the drama between like certain Sims and the mayor is funny. You like making uh, stray dogs and cats, same Z's. Fill the chair in first looks and it looks amazing. Yeah. Okay, Bob, let's have you go over to your lovely restaurant. Open it up and travel over there. Does anyone ever just space out? Oh, I do all the time. I space out all the time, even on stream. Can you give us a cool tip in the sense where most don't know? Oh, oh, yes, I can indeed give you some lovely tips and tricks today. Um, when we get to our venue in a split second. Actually, you know what? We have money. We're going back home. I'm sorry. We're going back home. Because I want to renovate Bob's house. Um, but a cool trick I wanted to show you before we even actually try to do that. Cool things I wanted to show you is... Okay. Game is being icky. A cool thing. If you press Control F on your keyboard, by the way, Control F gives you like this triangular flooring like this right here this triangle flooring control f do that it allows you to make very interesting floor patterns on your floor i'm using base game flooring by the way i think it's nice um 
But Control F gives you this triangular flooring, makes some interesting floor patterns. Another cool thing is that if you press, um, let's see, I'm going to get a roof. If you click on your roof and you do Control F, oh no. So yeah, if you do Shift C on your keyboard on a roof, you get more options for your roofing, by the way. Shift C gives you more roofing options. You manipulate your roof however you so please. Personally, I say it's worth it. It looks nice this way. Not gonna lie. Another cool thing too that I wanted to mention is that if you have use any stairs, let's say for example, you have a second floor. I do not. <laughs> I do not have a second floor. But if I wanted to have a second floor, but I didn't know technically where to place my stairs because like, oh, you can't have these stairs here because it's like conflicting with something. If you press control on your keyboard, let's just pretend I have a second floor. If you press control right here, I can like kind of see where I can place my stairs based on the position and spacing without having to go down here and figuring out where to place it because I can't see the second floor. Just press control on the second floor or the first floor if you have a basement. See it, place it, there you go. Seems nice that way, so. You didn't know that, now you know. For the roof, it's uh, shift C. Shift C for the keyboard for the roof. That is another option. Shift C. And also, gun session, welcome in, how are you? That's a new tip for me. You're welcome. Always happy to help. Fall back. My roofing back. Oh. You're looking for these tips and tricks. You're welcome. I made a tutorial on how to use the pawn tool on YouTube if you ever want to watch that. And if you ever want to like, almost said auto select, like copy and paste the same object without having to go back, you just hold down your alt oh, your keyboard. Yeah. The Sims 4 have Easter eggs? Yes. They do have Easter eggs, like actual like Easter eggs. Um you can find them in build and buy. I think if you type in Easter eggs or something or eggs, it should appear. You're welcome. I did not close the restaurant. No. I'm leaving it open. I'm gonna wait until it hits like nine hours or so and then we should be good like no we'll just leave the, the restaurant open it's fine it's fine i think we're also off the front page. okay are we off the front page by the way i would love to know if we are, then I can take off these overlays. Oh, like Easter, like, like, hit, like, hit, like, hints, hint Easter egg type things. The Sims team, they say they don't, but they do. We have Easter egg hints in the game. Sims team will never acknowledge it, but we do. But we have actual, like, Easter eggs in this game. But, like, just regular eggs. Oh, that's not it. It's part of base game, right? Yeah. Uh, I didn't hear, hold down. What the copy? Shift. The copy things, just hold down your shift key. Oh, yeah. Shift key. Multiple duplications. Oh gosh. Yeah, the shift key copies everything. I also realized I don't have any lights in this house of any kind. What is wrong with me? I only use my saucer lights because they are the ones that I actually like using in this game. What's my water bottle? It says AT&T class of 2021, a creator program on Twitch because I am part of the class of 2021 with AT&T with 11 other streamers, mentor Cypher PK, other mentor, Botez sisters. Today's stream was sponsored by AT&T, by the way. Still didn't know they're still doing a giveaway of 50, $50 gift cards to a platform of your choice. 
the Saiyan. You can do exclamation mark A T T in the chat. Oh, hidden items. Oh, then yes. I think hidden worlds could be considered ACX. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, there are hidden worlds in The Sims 4. And also, like, random hints. Like, yeah. And there are also, like, hidden items as well in the game. It's called Debug. Debug is um a place where you can find certain things that normally in the game you couldn't find unless you typed in a cheat. Which is pretty interesting, honestly. There's a world you can go into and find the entrance. Yeah, so there's hidden worlds. One in Willow Creek in the beginning neighborhood where the uh, BFF household lives in that general like sub neighborhood area. There's one in Willow Creek, one in Newcrest, one in the Magic World, which is the um, Glimmerbrook. There's also one in... Is that all we have? Wait, how many save file? Wait, how many hidden worlds do we have? Also, um, Lemon Jelly, thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing today, bestie? How was your stream? I hope your day and stream went well. Debug saved my life, literally same. I would not be sane if I did not have debug. But also play with me, welcome in. And also Lemon Jelly, thank you for the raid. <laughs> Did I miss something? Yeah, there's a secret location in Oasis Springs. It's in the park, though. Yeah, how was your stream today in The Sims 4? I would love to know all about it. We just actually wrapped up our second sponsored stream with AT&T, by the way. It's over. <laughs> For the whole year. Yeah, it's the uh, tree stump. Yeah, and Willow Creek is a stump tree. They have to interact with. Oh, that's right. The alien world. That's another one. If you have the portal or a rocket ship. But I think there is another stump. I forget what pack it came with. I don't even remember. I just know like the, the three. I am not technically playing a challenge per se. I'm more so just playing with my generic household with bot pancakes. We're giving him the life that he deserves. We divorced him from Eliza Pancakes because it's the, the rightful thing to do, honestly. In my humble opinion, it is. They are divorced. We took Iggy with us. He lives in our household now, which is great. We have him basically running his own restaurant right now, which is doing, you know, we're thriving. We have almost three stars. If you want to know more about the series, you can do exclamation mark pancakes in the chat to give you more info. The island, wait, island living? We had a hidden world in that one? Really? The magic beans, yeah, that one. I don't think that goes anywhere. I think that's just like a generic, just like special tree, I think. It's been a while since I played with it, though. No, it's all good, Lemon Jelly. Thank you again for the raid. I really appreciate it. But have fun with your daughter. Leave, leave a lurk if you got to do. Honestly, totally understand. See you next time, and I appreciate the love and support. Thank you, thank you. I think it's just like one of the starter neighborhoods that has the, the tree. Yeah. It's not like general, like it's in a corner at the very bottom, bottom corner of the map in Willow Creek is in like just like a tree, tree there. That's 900 simoleons. No, thank you. Give you this right here. But yeah, we've been thriving today. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Blue Zoo. We, we raided uh, Lemon Jelly for the first time not too long ago. They're really cool people, honestly. They're very kind, very sweet. Lemon is yellow, so we just had to. Let's say we were playing The Sims that day, too. So I'm like, best of both worlds. Yellow, le ye Lemon Jelly. Like Hannah Montana says, the best of both worlds is a cave in the island. Well, that's not really a hidden world per se. You, I mean, you can go into the cave, but you can't like go through it, through it to like a secret world. Because it's more so of like you can go through to find certain things, but you can't really 
go through, go through, if that makes any sense, right? Um, the really forgotten grotto system. Oh, that's right. The outdoor retreat one. Yes. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mount Kamarabi Upper Upper Mountain. Yes, that's the one. Mount Kamarabi, the the mountain one. Glimmerbrook Outdoor Retreat. Silver Grit. Yep, that's right. I've done all those. I I thought we had more than that. I wish we had more. I wish we had a open like a secret world in Forgotten Hollow, the vampire world. I wish we could like go into like the cave cave and like go through, go through. BV, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope your day is going really well. How you doing? Yeah, it's like the bottom corner. Like if you go to Willow Creek, the map, it should be at the very bottom. And like there's like a, a, a cul-de-sac of houses that you'll see. And they should all be there. Why do we have all this stuff in here? Oh, no, no, no. Delete all of this. I am not made of money here. Uh-uh. Who do you think I am? You just ward? No. Think I've made of money in this game? You must be crazy. Oh, I'm glad you're doing good, Lily. How was my Christmas? My Christmas was great. I had a lot of fun. My parents came over actually that day. Me and my dad played Boulder's Gate Dark Alliance all day that day. Um, and then me and my mom and my dad all ate some food as per usual. And then we, I think we will, we watched the first movie that we watched was The Matrix. And then the last episode of Hawkeye and then Encanto. It was a very chill, relaxing Christmas. How was yours? Do you think 2022 is going to be a big year for The Sims 4? I sure hope so. That'd be nice. Because <laughs> here's what my thinking is. I, uh, part of me thinks that we're going to get Generations next year. I hope. If not Generations as well, because technically if we ever got a supernatural thing, it would probably be a game pack if we got werewolves or fairies in the game. Um... So generations for an, for an EP. That's the only thing I can think of at the moment. But I feel like it's gonna be a big year. I think so. Did Bob celebrate Christmas last week? Yes, he did. Not in this LP. There was like technically it was another save file with the same Sims. You can watch that VOD back if you would like to. But he did celebrate Christmas. It was a very sad one because let me just tell you. Bob's father died on Christmas Day, and then Eliza's mother died the next day. They were literally one day apart in birth. I get a call saying, Xavier Pancake died. I'm like, are you kidding me on Christmas? And I couldn't find his urn, so I didn't know where to bury him. So that was a very sad time. But Iggy got to meet, you know, Father Winter, so that was fun. But regards, I'm like, geez Louise. Look, my voice, thank you. I am an EA game changer. That is correct. I am part of the EA Creator Network. They changed it recently to Creator Network instead of EA Game Changers, new branding and all. So that entails, yes, I do get these packs for free. No, do I, I do not take these for granted. I appreciate the fact that I do get these for free. I buy the packs myself. If I want to do giveaways sometimes. I am very appreciative of it. I don't take these for granted. <laughs> Let that be clear. Um, also, another soapbox thing. If you have a very prestige title, in a way, never use your title for um, to get things for free. Never think that you are better than someone because you have a title. That's another pro tip. Do you have a hobby extension? Wait, do you have a hobby ex expansion is out? Sure. I feel I feel like we're going to get a hobby expansion pack. I would like it. I enjoyed Sims 2 free time a lot. 
Poor Iggy indeed. Iggy was very sad. Eliza wasn't. Eliza was like, mm, whatever. Whatever. We were we did the surviving the holiday scenario. What am I gonna do in the new year? Ooh, like content wise, I feel like saying what I'm doing now, but I wanna do more variety of things. Like I wanna do art again. I used to stream art on, on Twitch. I want to expand my content YouTube wise. I want to definitely cry less next year. That's for sure. Um, less mental breakdowns. Um, I want to be bigger and better at doing things that I'm scared of doing. More sponsorships because, you know, building the portfolio and all. I want to expand my horizons outside of gaming and be do more than just gaming. Like I want to be an author. I want to be an actor. I want to be a voice actor to be exact. So I want to get into voice acting at some point, And I think that'd be really fun. Any tips on staying consistent with the Sim family slash save without getting bored? I say do a challenge. Challenges will keep you consistent. At least for me, they do. I mean, I'm currently on generation eight of the not so berry challenge. And that is a 10 long generation that's like yeah challenges keep you steady and, and uh consistent i'm still trying to come up with a build tonight you know what you should build you should build a mid-century modern family home or a suburban house you could do no wrong with suburban family homes in my humble opinion always go great with bus with the dust kit, does your vacuum escape outside? No. But my Sims do vacuum the the grass a lot, which is um not great. Because I have that, I have that. Iggy, you have all this. I feel like Iggy should this Iggy deserves a, their own computer. Yeah. I'll give their own computer. I'm gonna give them a bigger one. <laughs> Less mental breakdowns. Yes, I need that. If Generations is coming in, we already have a lot of new baby cribs. If we get updated babies. Yes. If we got Generations, I don't know how I would really react to it. I think my body would shut down from shock. And I would die and come back to life, basically, from shock. Because I'm like, did they do what I just think they did? Release seasons out into the world? <laughs> they did for sure did. But imagine, that'd be wild. Modders are gonna, are ahead of the game. True, true. It gives us a variety of things, which is nice. Yellow is my favorite color. Indeed it is. It's the best color. We all know it. One of the best. It's not just some random meme. It's actually my favorite color. <laughs> it represents like my personality and like, who I am as a person, positivity, kindness, love, wholesomeness, me. Uh, and snow, wait, what? My Sims get are so glitched when they, uh, they love vacuuming the snow for some reason, that's weird. My Sims end up mopping the ground, the grass of all things. And like, why are you mopping the grass? That does not need to be a thing. You're someone to explore voice acting. How do you get into that? Honestly, I say do voice acting classes is the way to go. There is this thing called Voice Over Camp. Um, it was created by a person who does voice acting for The Sims. Um, they'll teach you about voice acting, you know, the lowdown. They have a lot of potential high profile people who are in voice acting, like video games, commercials, advertisements, all the things. Really good. They have coaching sessions, workouts, workshops. Really, really good. Hands down, highly recommend. If anybody wants to get into voice acting, 100% worth it. Do you really want snow? I feel like snow is that one thing I just don't like. Here in Brazil, it's so high. I wish I had snow. No, it's not for me. I can't handle the snow. Snow's scary. But yeah, 
that is what I would recommend. Voiceover Camp, Voiceover dot Camp, is the website. Here's the other website. I don't. I hate the heat. Can make a decent living from voice acting if you can get the right jobs. People always say, if you can get the right jobs, you know your rates. Like if you're just starting out with voice acting, you might struggle a little bit here and there. But the more you get into voice acting, the more you practice improv and, you know, put yourself out there on social media that you are a voice actor and you get paid gigs, you can make a, you can make a, a really decent living on voice acting. Like even regular voice actors get their first voice acting gigs for the first time and make a good living out of it too. But it's all about, are you willing to put in the effort and time and commitment into your craft to become a well successful voice actor is the real question. Are you willing to invest in yourself to do what you want to do for a living? Like for me, I wanted to stream and do YouTube for a living and look here. Um, I'm streaming and doing YouTube for a living as my job and I want to pursue more. And I'm willing to invest in myself to, for sure, expand my horizons. Yeah. As long as your son is willing to put in the effort and commitment into it and willing to learn. You love the snow, can't stand the heat. I can't stand either. I can't stand the snow or the heat. I don't like weather in general. Icky. You feel like the year 2020 is going to be big for Paralyzed? We hopefully. Let's hope. See, here's my thing. I just hope that at some point with Paralives, we saw the, you know, how to keep a pair person and all. Love that. But now I'm like, okay, cool. What's live mode like? I would love to know. That's what I need. That's all I need. I just need to know how live mode works and everything. That way I can feel like I'm doing something decent. At first I was like, eh, I'm bored. What's next? Is there something else? We like we already know how build mode and create a pair works, but what's gameplay like, you know? Um And you're welcome, XOXO Booth. Thank you for being here and hanging out with us. See you next time. Hopefully very soon. Welcome back, Sevi. Uh if I if you do voice acting, get voice insurance no <laughs> there's no such thing as voice insurance unless you're like really stinking rich there are people who have insurance for their legs tina turner has both of her legs insured um i think mariah carey has voice insurance but that's not an actual thing um that's not an actual thing an everyday person can get it's all about taking care of your voice resting vocal rest not talking as much not shouting Drinking water, drinking tea, voice remedies, whatever it might be. Taking care of your voice is very important for voice actors. If you have no voice, you can't work. So I'm just saying. Yeah, it's all about taking care of your voice. There's no really voice insurance. That you can put money towards. If you have in a sore throat that day, take some vocal rest. Don't talk for a for a bit. Take some time for yourself just to relax and chill. Um, you know it's totally good. You know, hey, savvy, it's all good. If you gotta take breaks in between, I am okay with that. And that goes for anybody too. Literally, if you gotta step away and do stuff, I'm okay. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Everything is fine. Stopping by to make sure. Ma'am, you're not wearing the appropriate attire. Zoe Patel, you're wearing workout wear. You're going to have to change your outfit normal if you're going to be a part of this establishment. Okay. Wear this. Um... They recently revealed what children look like in Paralives. They look so cool. I mean, before what they look like, not the kids, but like the young adults, what they looked like before and what they look like now is really cool. 
How long was she gonna go for? For about another 30 minutes. I was gonna only stream for about four hours today because um, we had two hours slot for front page for AT&T, which is now over. Um, and I wanted to stream it like a little extra hour, just so, you know, kind of some extra stuff. Plus I wanna get more done. Boost up our career job today. Yeah, I usually stream for about three hours, three and a half hours every day. Um, sometimes there are like special streams where I might stream a little bit longer than normal, but I always let you all know that in Discord ahead of time about the, um, the, uh, what's it called? Schedule. Uh, do you think about, do you think about doing League of Legends stream one day? Maybe, maybe like an after dark stream, most likely. Bree, how are you doing today? Welcome in. I hope your day's going pretty well. Also, I think someone's at my door. How? Oh, I've ignored my phone the entire day. Oh, wow. Yep, I'll be right back real quick. Well, second, I'm going to leave my game on pause for some extra chaos. I'm back. I'm back. Did anything happen? Did anything happen while I was gone? Any fires? Any death? Living life on the edge? Yes. I kind of want to do... So, okay, one of my friends, Kelsey Dangerous, Kelsey and Peachy K, she did a stream um, where she left her game on pause all night. Like, she was not not in the stream at all, but she just left her game on pause. And I kind of want to do that where I'm not here and my game's just running in the background. It's like a U-Log stream. I didn't save my game. I love Kelsey. She's really cool. Let's see. Why are you angry? Because the wait times will wear, wear. I mean, honestly, I just might. I think it's a really cool idea, personally. Well, if you're not learning your cooking, then you gotta do better work. We're gonna check up on you. We just got done with our AT&T sponsor stream today, uh, Brie. That is why there's a bunch of people here. <laughs> the number has exponentially gone up. Hi. But you didn't get any pop-ups that would pause the game. I mean, occasionally I'll, like, I'll pop in like myself without talking and like close out the uh, things pop-ups usually happen when like your sim has a job or something and normally i would never have my sim have a job if i do something like that that depends that makes sense yeah 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 my mother is here say hello right there how are you? Happy holidays, Mary. Happy New Year, because it's coming. How many of you are ready? I was just supposed to... They've well, been demanding a parent stream from you and Daddy this whole time. I'm... Let's make it happen and... I'll get, let you guys set the day, day or what? I mean, I stream every day. So, I mean, whenever, hey, whenever. Mondays. Mondays, I have no, nothing. Evening. Evening? At, yeah, at six. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. 
did the first or second month. Okay. Or the first and last Monday of the month. Oh, I'm not even in the picture. Hey, everybody. It's been a great 20. Me. Um, a lot of things that I overcame. A lot of things that, you know, just came right at me in my face. But no more than any of you. Saying, hey, what's up? I see the mama spring, spring mom stream. <laughs> just... That's right. Where's the yellow at, people? Where's the yellow? Oh, I see it there. I see it there. Oh. Okay. Right there. Sent tell. Thank you for gifting. Continue to sub with from AT&T. Oh, yeah, oh, we appreciate closer. that. That come one's cutting closer. out. <laughs> oh, there's the love. There's the love. I see it, beautiful people. So, what's been going on with all of you? I've been loving these AT and T streams. By the way, I haven't had a chance to really. I only have, I only had two. So, oh, I've been good. I've been good. Going to be ramping up. Got some great projects. Um, jumping off in the beginning of the year. I'm so happy. Some great challenges with some friends of mine. Public speaking opportunities for myself. Classes, some courses. It's just going to be good. Well, I'm enjoying this break. Yeah, it's going great. My mom does watch my videos. Yes. I do. You got a promotion at work. Congratulations. Whoop, whoop. It's good to see you, Devil Oceana. Got home running errands with the kiddos. Taking her nap now, so I'm kicking my feet. Relaxing. Nice. Relaxation is key. Thank you, thank you. That Dabney. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. That's her. That's Dabney. Hey, nice what's up, say. girl? <laughs> Some of you have, uh, you know, met me way back then. Some of you just met me. And those of you that are meeting me for the first time today, I'm here. My name is Annetta and I celebrate you. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that's a Twitter, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I actually do. The letter I, the word celebrate you, the letter U, 365. Well, it is nice meeting you, Ninette. Underscore set. I'm positivity too. He yeah. just owns it. <laughs> But I, you know, I slide right in there with positive. But I'm all about self care without apology, you know, and celebrating and teaching others how to create that space. Say, so he's yellow, I'm green. He's trying to force me to have green in my apartment. I'm like, no, literally the other day, we were at the grocery store saying, You want an apple slicer? Like, yeah, I want an apple slicer. It's like, here's a green one. It's like, I don't want that one. A little bit of green is life you know i think it would go with a nice you know yellow is great but a little splash of green or a little spot my color is about life and about royalty appreciating and loving who you are. green plants and yellow pots you got it that's what i'm saying no I no i actually became a gardener this year and my plants are still alive to me, my indoor plants. I actually had zucchini, cucumber, cantaloupe, lettuce. Then I, to, I had a few tomatoes. Didn't we have watermelon? I think one was trying. He didn't quite make it, but he was trying. Oh. We learned about some, you know, some things that we needed to do with the garden to have those things really produce, but it was fun and we actually ate what we grew. That's what I loved. It wasn't about just growing it and, you know, clap, clap. It was about growing it, clap, clap, and eating it. Yeah. Mama Spring, what is your opinion on Steven's yellow obsession? I think it's overkill, no. but I love it. No, <laughs> it's not overkill. It's just the right amount. It is. It really is. I love his obsession because what it represents and what it does. And all of you are evidence of that. Even you yellow do? flowers have green in them. But I have plenty to share. Oh, great. Thank you. I know. I'm excited about that. Yellow flowers have green stems. Love it. See, See, I have green. I've been away okay. too long. I've been away too long. This is so much fun right now. We got plants. 
plans to add a patio pond on my porch balcony this summer. I'm so excited. Ooh. You know, I did a little bit. I even Fine. did some herbs. And even during this winter, I'm going to do some lavender. I'm oh, going to experiment right. with some of that and maybe try to do some mint and some thyme and see if yeah. I can do, you know, some herbs on the inside. Yeah, I agree. Love yourself before anyone else. Well, yeah, uh, I love you. Who said that? Ariel. Well, uh, Latin. Thank you for the 300 bits. I really appreciate it so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you can cook with lavender. That's true. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How many of you are into aromatherapy? Because yeah, that was the other are. thing that kept me sane <laughs> these almost two years that we've been. I'm real, real plants. Just like um, Stephen has here, I have the same thing. I just took some jars and put some put some plants in there that were that I had not had success with in the pot, but they weren't quite dead. And I thought, well, maybe I can revive them. And they have. So I'm ready now to repot them because now I've learned a little bit how to care for them with the dirt and the fertilizer and all of that. So um, I'm excited about taking them out of the water, actually Ooh, putting them in some pretty pots and just decorating um, my new office. And guess what? Dad says that he's ready to move me into my new space. So we got to tear down the desk again? Yeah, one more time. Uh, one more time. One more time. It's a good desk. Yeah. And I don't need much. You know, I'm a person that likes to be on the go, but this pandemic locked me down and I had to reimagine and redo what I do differently. And um, I learned a lot about myself that I'm not as much as I thought I was, <laughs> I'm better now. I'm so much better because of this virtual experience. Learn some skills. Um, this guy, besides oh. what he does here in spring, when you realize that Stephen has a gift, when did you realize Stephen has a gift with bringing joy to people all around the world? Um, the day he was born. And I'm not saying that just to say that. The nurses um, just fell in love with him. Ooh. Now, of course, he couldn't talk. He was cute and cuddly and everything. But as he grew, Stephen always puts others first. He has a heart and a passion that um, you just gravitate to. And when I saw that, I knew that it was my job as his mom to nurture that. In other words, to create that environment where he could grow that. And look what it has gotten him. We've gotten to know all of you. I'm adding some new papo vines. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to have a more tropical jungle, like the vibe on the porch this year. I'm also, what are those other things that you were doing, Stephen? The um, succulents? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Am I saying that right? Mm hmm. Okay. Succulents. That's something else I want to do. And I actually want to create a um, aquarium, some um, space in my office that just really is just something representative of who, who I am. So I'm going to be experimenting with taking uh, an aquarium and just putting some succulents in there. I've seen some cute ones. That should be good. Um... Everyone just loves you. <laughs> well, you know, um, Stephen is his own person. Yeah. And I'm from the belief that I'm not here to make him a mini me or a, be his mini dad. We love him, but we love him because he is who he is. And we just nurtured that and gave him space. And we always had a thing, you and I, when you were younger, Mm -hmm. about um what would we call that no judging time yeah where he could say anything he wanted to say any way he wanted to say it and i did not judge or it wasn't so much that i ever really judged steven but i didn't use the mama card like do you know who you're talking to i just say no ne steven's never been a potty mouth so he i never have to worry about that but if he didn't want to talk, he had the space and I gave him the grace that silence was, was the, the language. Mm -hmm. 
And from that, he was able to find himself with me, how to talk. The allergies are just... (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so that's what I do. I create safe spaces for healing, for growth, and for celebrating without apology. And I help other people to do that. So if you need a safe space, I do that. I create that. She Accountability does. coaching, that's what I do. That's really what I do. She Communications, does coaching. Everyone has a voice. But some people struggle with how to articulate or have never been given the space to share their story. Your life is a story. Oh my gosh, am I supposed to be talking this much? I mean, I don't care. I'm getting off in like... What are the people saying? 15 minutes. The apple doesn't fall from the the tree. May I eat a truffle? I mean, if you want to, I mean, I want to be opposed. I like to think that I gave him (laughs) what I always wanted. My parents um, are just the best oh another thing i want to mention if you didn't know this about the sims 4 you actually can water your plants with your tears by the way if your sim is depressed um you actually can water your plants with the tears i'm just saying another another sim pro tip make your sim sad to water your plants there you go well, um, Softy Savvy, you know what? That's why I like to go live. I've never been one that shied away from speaking in public. Um, most people would ask me, they said, have you ever been nervous when you got up to speak? Of course. But then when I look into the faces of my audience and I remember why I'm there, it just starts to flow. And I love to interact with my audience. Wait, this. Positivity, it's real. And we need this now. We so need this now. Hi, Garrett. I have arrived. Oh, I like you, Garrett. Welcome. Good to see you. If you if you and I have never met, I'm I'm Mama Spring. She is my mom, by the <laughs> way. You think? We do look alike. There are I there are photos. Um, I'm not kidding. There are photos of her as a child. I look at those photos and like, that's an exact image of me if I was a girl and had more hair. Oh, oh. Like, Car-car, guess what? That's exactly what's happening. I'm popping off on January the 2nd, actually. I've been um, sharing in, on other platforms about my what am I calling that fit and well yeah. <laughs> now I'm tongue-tied because I wasn't prepared but I am prepared fit and well challenge and it's about holding people accountable to what they want to do and helping you to actually break habits it's only 30 days and then after the 30 days you're welcome to join my 90 day program and where we take those habits that were broken and the new habits that you started and hold you accountable for 90 days so that you can see the change, be the change that you're looking for. So for instance, you know, sometimes, you know, life coaches, that's a whole lot of fluff talk. I'm not fluff. This is what I'm talking about. Take drinking water. How many of you actually drink eight glasses in other words, a cup of water, eight of them, hey, Libby. in a day. I want to know. Don't don't be shy. If you do, wonderful. If you don't, wonderful. I don't either, Garrett. You don't drink water? I drink water, but some days it's like... Or I, enough You know, water. it's a sip. Right. People are drinking water, and I'm talking about water, um, plain water. Even if you um, diffuse it with fruits or put vegetables like, you know, cucumber water or lemon water, lime water. Right. We don't drink enough of water. 
proud of him. So I'm actually holding a challenge where we're going to break the habit of not drinking water or enough water. This isn't about to tell you, to tell you, you need to drink eight glasses or 72 to 96 ounces of water a day. You will do your math. In other words, you will find out what you need to do. And I will be encouraging you to speak with your healthcare provider. That's what you pay them for. Mm, that's true. Did you know Dab found, I think it was like $10, a $10 water bottle that was like 64 um, ounces at Target? Get out at Target. I went in there a couple of weeks ago and they had the best grapes. So I, that's one place really? I don't shop. I need to go in there and just see. I think they've got some nice little um, best kept secrets. Oh, $5. Oh, yeah? See? Right place, right time. But that's what I'm going to be talking about. Um, this challenge only deals with three things. Water, exercise, and I am a Christian. I am a Jesus disciple. You know, I love Jesus. So we're going to be talking about Bible reading. And all we're doing is what you're mm. not doing and then begin to build habits. Now, before you freak out on the exercise, you don't have to join a gym. You don't have to get any equipment, but if you're like me, you've had this stuff for years and I dusted mine off last year and I have been going like crazy. Now go. I'm going to be intentional so I can lose this COVID weight that I've put on. <laughs> it, Hey, it's real. Everybody has gained. If you went from being out and working from home or working remotely from home, you put on some pounds that weren't there that you had two years ago, December, 2019. You remember that you didn't have what, what you weigh now you weren't weighing back then. So that's what we're going to be talking about. And we're just going to be talking about breaking habits to create, to give space for the new habits. Then after that, we're going to talk about what to do the next 60 days. So yeah, I will be streaming. Um, Steven has, um, introduced me to recording. Um, because I do work <laughs> from home, I'm working remotely, but my business is a virtual business. Anyway, um, Stephen has challenged me to actually do some recordings. And so I'll be using YouTube, but I really have asked him, do you think there's space for me? And you guys yeah. can answer that. And you've told me before, but I just need to hear it again. Is there space for me to talk about this kind of stuff right here on Twitch? I thought about Clubhouse. Um, that's my second nature because I love podcasting as well. Oh, I forget a mask all the time. I'm not the only one. I forget it all the time. What do you mean forget the mask? Oh, I forget to have my mask on sometimes like in my car. Like when I walk, like, oh, I'm going to go grab it. Yeah. Oh, well, we are fully vaccinated. We have the booster. Yes. Yeah. And we also have masks. I have masks in my car, Stephen's car and my husband's car. Yeah. And I carry one in my purse. So I'm never without. And they all want to see you stream. You want to see me stream. Okay. You would watch. Okay. We're going to make this happen. I'm just going to come on one day. Stephen's going to get me all set up. And I'm just going to come on for maybe like 30 minutes. Nothing too deep at first. I just kind of want to test the waters. And I need you guys to give me feedback. I am not afraid of feedback. You know, how do I sound? Am I talking too fast? Am I giving too much information? Do I need to slow down? Yeah. So I guess I need to, maybe I'll do that before the end of this year. Just to, just to say hello and then introduce myself and then just pick a day and then do it. Um, yeah. Fix me. Where are you located? Do you have meet and greet? Oh, there's all for social media. <laughs> if you want it. Um, thanks. Soft set, softy savvy. <laughs> yeah. That's my Twitter. Yeah. That's my I... Twitter. So I'll be sharing it there on my Twitter. And then I already have my Twitch account. Yeah. Um, okay. It's an amazing simmer, but she will have streams to talk about mental health. Oh, look like I need to connect mm. with her because I love having conversations. Just like what I'm doing here with you. I love to have conversations. So I think me and her 
Um, can you connect like that on Twitch? You think I would know that by now, huh? I mean, if you like follow them and stuff, they usually have social media. Um, but I mean, like, can we come on together at Twi on Twitch? Yeah, uh, yeah, you can. Or is that for those people that got the 10 billion subscribers? <laughs> oh, the mom cape. Oh, here it is. Found oh, it. the mom cape. Okay, he just found it for me. I'm going to connect with her. Thanks for um, giving me that connection. Letting me know that there's somebody out there who's a mom. I am the, uh, I work for Mom University. It is a virtual group of moms around the world. UK, Canada, Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya. USA and we it's a, it's a faith organization but we have so much fun as well so I'm the um, program academics program director so I take care of the courses and things and we talk about how to be our best moms and how we can create that safe space for our children to be who they already are but they're growing up in it so that's how I did him. I know it works. So. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys so much. So it looks like I'm going to be going live. Yeah. Maybe I should do it Friday. <laughs> I keep telling her that she needs to stream. People want to see her stream. Okay. But she doesn't do it. Well, it's not that I don't do it. I'm this used to be <laughs> recovering um perfectionist and i think everything has to be set up so perfect no. i have to have my speaking paper over here now i can talk off the fly but i like to be intentional so now that i have my um fit and well course um about to kick off as well as my challenge and my fit and well group I think I need to come out and celebrate it and share it with others like all of you. You too? Anyone is welcome. And when I say anyone, it isn't just a girl thing. Yeah. You all of us need to drink water. And you take what you need and you, you know, if, uh, oh, look at that. He's pulling me up. I have a YouTube. I'm working on YouTube. I'm working on the YouTube. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. The link is in the chat. If you all want to go subscribe to our YouTube channel, by the way. I appreciate it. It's there in the chat. It's a long link. But just so you know, 2022 is the year of the voice of the woman. Our voices have um, been heard and people are beginning to understand the voices that they're hearing. And that's good. But it's time to amplify it because we have so much work to do good work as um former um our beloved representative john lewis who is now deceased but he said get in good trouble good trouble is community care restoring justice to oh. those that are um oppressed women are still being oppressed in parts of the world may be different from ours, but those of us who are not, we can amplify our voices, come together and make space, tell the stories, listen to the stories, understand, look at them from a different perspective. Yeah. And let's get some good work done so that we can see the change that we want to see. I don't have little ones. This is my little one. But I want to do my part that our world can be better for generations beyond me, beyond him, beyond you. He you may not have children today, but who knows? I want to do my part while I'm here to make it better. Cimarella, thank you so much. I'll have her do her YouTube. I'm on the floor right now. <laughs> yeah, she's on the floor. I don't have another chair in here. His space is his space. I just come over to pick up something I left from Christmas. And he hosted our new family tradition of Christmas. Christmas will be at Stephen's house from now on. And he will have the family Christmas tree. I have chairs, Crystal. 
It's just in the dining room. I need to go anyway. I'm, I'm on. I need to get some work done. I got to head back to my office. And because I said I'm going to come on um, before January 1st, looks like I need to go set up and make sure that I'm ready to go. <laughs> Hello. So is it better in the evening or the mornings? Because I'm an early bird. I mean, I stream at night. Usually on Wednesdays, I stream in the morning. I'm talking about for me. Well, you know when you... Whatever works for you. Well, okay. Um, okay. It may be um, early morning or maybe late afternoon, like this time. Because I have some other things that are in the evening the rest of this week. But I can come on about this time for sure. Some um, Between 3 p.m. Central Time. That's four if you're Eastern, mm -hmm. two if you're Mountain, and one if you're Pacific. <laughs> yeah, I learned the time zones. Right now, we're six hours behind Nigeria. Yeah. They don't do the time change like we do. So right now, we're six hours, and in March, it'll be seven. Oh, on YouTube, you don't have to sub. Sub is like, subscribing on YouTube is free. Um, following on Twitch is also free, but if you want to like subscribe to somebody on Twitch, it's like you gotta pay four ninety nine. But um, he doesn't have that right now. I'm not popular that like that. <laughs> but who knows? Because of you, I can be. I believe there's an audience out there for what I'm talking about and what I want to have conversations. I don't have to do all the talking. Thank you so much. 2022 oh. um, is, is the year for me. I'm also going to be celebrating the 6-0, so watch out. Starting January 1st, well, actually, we're in the year of 60, so I started celebrating um, in August. So August 2022, watch out. But every month, there is going to be something because I celebrate me. Rumble? What's Rumble? I don't know what that is. Please use it. It's also Rumble. Oh, um oh yeah the, the join feature on youtube that's right um let's see and polka welcome in yeah we're gonna be ending soon in like a few minutes yeah um, well let me disappear so you guys can get back to what you were doing but you'll see me this week and um oh. definitely i'll be tweeting yeah Love you guys, and thank you so much for the love, for the green and the purple. That's my color. <laughs> and thank you for supporting, celebrating, and making Spring Sim even better. It takes a village. Love you guys. Bye. She's on the floor. Okay. I'm tired. Anywho, um, I hope you all enjoyed that. <laughs> I did. Mm-hmm. It's really great. She's like, oh, wow. Where'd you go? Oh, you now have my emotes again, by the way. Cause Savvy gave you a gifted sub <laughs> to my channel. Um, that's how you spell it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoy the emotes for a whole month. <laughs> what do I need to do? Nothing. You have the emotes now. So you have gifted subs are like a thing where if someone gives you a sub that you don't pay for, you can use that um, emotes for a whole month and then it expires. That's for you. That's awesome. Yeah. So hopefully you like them. We got way more. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, thank you. Okay. Thank you. I think my parents are swell. They're pretty cool people, by the way. Oh, really? So that's what Rumble is. The more you know. I never knew that. There's always so many platforms like popping up every Everywhere you go, it's like, really? That's a thing now? Are you good? Oh, okay. Um, I don't know what I was saying. 
I don't know. Anyway, um, we're going to hold off on the clip of the day for now. So no clip of the day now. We'll, we'll hold it off for tomorrow instead. Because my brain can't handle anymore. Um, anyway, besides all that, I hope you all had fun, though. <laughs> I hope you all had fun today because not only did we survive front page once again, we also had a very fun time. I think so. I had fun, but my mods did all the hard work. I was just a streamer. I just sat here and chatted and they banned a bunch of people, which is fun. <laughs> she called me and I didn't see it. And then he texted me. It's like, and then I heard a knock at the door. And so she it's like, oh, here you are. Um, she came to pick up the cheese that we had in my fridge from Christmas. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I was like, you want to come on the stream? I was like, sure. It's like, OK, so here she is. <laughs> it's a hamper. OK, too bad it's already over. That's true. That's true. I do stream every single day. So I have my schedule in Discord. Um. Where is it at? So tomorrow I stream at 6 p.m. So I, I normally do not stream at like this time. Um, usually on Wednesdays I stream at 10 a.m. Central Time. But tomorrow um, we're going to be streaming Sims um, Among Us. No, Thursday tomorrow we're streaming Sims 4, not so Barry. And then Friday we're playing Among Us. So that'll be what we're going to be doing for the rest of this week. Um she sounds like a great cook. She does cook. Both of my parents cook and they love cooking. Yes. I just realized someone put me in the pit of darkness. Oh no. Have fun. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> someone rescue them. Okay. Anyway, um, I hope you, I was like, I'll let my mom talk while I decorate this, this, ha this sad, sad house. Their house looks way better. Honestly, the way I decorated it way better. Because the house was looking a little bit sad, honestly. You're fine? Are you sure? Is everything fine? Are, are you sure? Are you good? Are you really good? Also, we don't need to see her. We need a, a mirror. <laughs> I'm fine. Everything is fine. Um, Okay. Good. I'm going to save my game. Anyway, besties. I feel like I also missed something. Let me check something real quick. I feel like I'm supposed to answer an email. No, that's the wrong email. Okay. There we go. Uh, who is it? Who did the eat command? Who chose to eat? Was it a mod? Yes. Was it a mod to eat? Confess. You know what you did? Oh my God. I have six e Okay, nothing too important. Good. Anyway, besties, um, what we're going to do, <laughs> we've done a lot today. I think my mods are tired of me talking because I've been live for four hours and they did so much work. But my friends, today is a day ooh, that I like to call. No, we weren't. Mm, interesting. They have to say it. They're legally binding contracts says they have to say nice things. <laughs> uh, legally binding in their contract. It's in the contract. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, mods did all the hard work today. I was just a streamer, honestly. But today, my besties, we are going to go ahead and do a thing I like to call a bit of a raidy raid. You know, tomorrow's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. If you apply to be a mod, read the fine print. Read the fine print. It's what it's there for. <laughs> but we're going to go raid my good friend, Theo, who literally just went live. Um, You know how we were we were saying earlier how a bunch of you all, I think earlier in chat, are no longer here, said that they love baby challenges or having a bunch of babies. Um, Well, Theo is doing the Chaos Cottage 100 baby challenge. They're currently at 10 out of 100 babies. They are returning back. 
they are really cozy, comfy streamer that I honestly know that you all will definitely love. They love Cottage Core, so do I. They love Chaos, as do I. Um, and they play The Sims. They also play a little variety of games as well. So if you need another cozy, comfy stream to go to, Theo is the one to go. I'll be back tomorrow at 6 p.m. streaming The Sims 4 Not So Berry Challenge. If not, then I hope you all enjoyed the stream either way. And I bet you would do. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye-bye. Peace, everybody. Ah, do 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 do.